Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Hit it. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Everyone made it, right? Everybody's okay. Post eclipse. Wakey, wakey. Hands off those cupcakes. Four hours of pain. We're going to be busy this morning, guys. We got sexy James. Back in the uh, fresh out of bed, head to head. He's been in the Hall of Fame a couple of times. He's going for win number two today. We announced the Struts yesterday. They're playing July 23rd, House of Blues. I've got tickets for you in homeroom on the Fun Fact Flashback. Glass Animals tickets go on sale oddly Thursday. Uh, they didn't want to deal with everybody putting tickets on sale on Friday. Their show is September 21st, Woodlands. Glass Animals tickets given to you at 720. Fourth row tickets to a perfect circle Saturday night. We're going to play Hit the Post. You guys get to DJ on the show. We'll play it around 8.20. What else? I got Asking Alexandria tickets. I got 30 Seconds to Mars tickets. Um, and we've got rain. Uh, we've got rain tonight. Well, today, 40% chance of scattered storms. But tonight, it could get a little nutty. Tomorrow morning could be a little wild. But I think we're going to be just fine for the golf tournament. Um, but we got to talk a lot of weather today on the show. Uh, good morning, Tessa. What are what are Houston's headlines? Hey, good morning, Rod. Good morning, Homeroom. So we have the Eclipse recap page, basically the roundup of all the news yesterday from the Eclipse. Uh, probably the biggest takeaway, Google Trends saw searches for why do my eyes hurt or eyes hurt that spiked during Monday's total solar eclipse. The term saw a jump in the number of searches around 2 p.m. Eastern, which is about the time the eclipse started to be seen in the U.S. And then, you know, searches spiked. There were some other popular searches in there, too. But plenty of nonsense surrounding the eclipse. So, you know, we had to make a blog page for that. The Biden administration is proposing a new plan to slash student loan debt for more than 30 million borrowers. That plan was announced yesterday and would affect those with runaway interest borrowers who have been paying on loans for 20 years and those who qualify for income driven repayment plans. A grandmother in East Cleveland, Ohio, uh, got two tickets in the mail for doing 27 in a 20 mile per hour zone. Fine was 105 bucks, but the weird part is she wasn't driving, and she has proof. An automated uh, traffic camera that gave her the ticket um, clearly shows footage of her car hooked up to a tow truck when it happened. So the driver was the one speeding. The camera scanned her plate. Oh, they're trying to bang. They're trying to bang. Both yes. vehicles issued her the ticket, just her. It happened to her in December after her van broke down. So she went to the police. She's like, look, you guys made a mistake. And they're like, look, that's a third party vendor that operates that camera. So she's in a little bit of a pickle. Uh, the town there is trying to get that ticket expunged for her. Robert Downey Jr. Jr. says he'd happily return as Iron Man if he's ever asked. He says it's uh, part of his DNA. He said the role chose him. And he says, look, it's a losing bet. He's the house. Iron Man will always win. Of course, nothing is impossible when the multiverse is involved. Meanwhile, Tom Hiddleston has no clue if Loki is coming back for another season. So we have blog pages dedicated to those stories. And we do have a poll question for you this morning. How many band T-shirts do you currently own? Okay, you know the unspoken rule. If you're going to wear a band's merch, you better know at least three of their songs. But a surprising number of Americans don't agree. According to a recent poll, more than 30% of Americans don't think you need to know an artist's music to fly their colors. And 10% say they own a shirt from an artist they've never even listened to. We have that story and more on the music blog page. Those are Houston's headlines. 46% of our audience has less than five band Slash artist T-shirts. My band shirt collection definitely has uh, expanded as I've worked here. Hmm. Do you know the three songs? Uh, the one I'm wearing today. Oh, we've proved that wrong on the She's show. What are you like wearing? Tex Josh Abbott band. She's like Texas is one of the songs. So let's start there. One. Mm, oh, tonight featuring Casey Musgraves. Two. Josh Abbott. Uh, it's too early. No, that's it. <laughs> You're off the hook. What's up? <laughs> For the second straight year, the UConn Huskies are the champions of men's college basketball. They beat Purdue 75-60 to 60 last night in the national championship game. They're the first back-to-back -back champions since Florida did it in 2006 and 2007. They did not win a game by less than double digits the last two 
tournaments. Wow. So the last two national championships, they did not win by less than double digits. Pretty incredible run by the Huskies. In the NBA, Rockets are going to be back in action tonight. They'll host the Orlando Magic at the Toyota Center. Tip-offs at 7. You can listen to it on our sister station, News Radio 740 KTRH. In baseball, the Astros got a win last night. They came back to beat the Rangers 10-5 to to split their four-game series. Jordan Alvarez and Victor Caratini both homered in the game for the Astros. Tonight, they're going to open up a three-game series with the Royals. Christian Javier is going to be on the mound for the Astros. He'll be going up against Kansas City's Cole Raggins. First pitch is at 640, and you can listen to that one on our sister station, Sports Talk 790. That is what's going on in sports. Great outcome for the Astros. Brutal start. Yeah, well, I mean, uh, <laughs> Framberg getting scratched. Yeah. And then you get that rookie kind of coming up. And he, he got just chilled. got lit up. But your middle relievers got it done. Yeah. All right, here we go, guys. Four hours of pain starts right now on this Tat Tuesday. I hope you're ready to play DJ on the show today. We'll do that in the 8 o'clock hour. Now I'm looking for the first phone call. Who wants in? 713-212-5945. The most interactive show on the radio. This one. All right, there we go. 94.5 The Buzz. Switchfoot. Getting everything underway on this Tattoos Day. Wakey, wakey, hands off, snakey. Rod Ryan Show checking in on this Tuesday, April 9. Sexy James, I think he did send us some pictures. Do they ever wind up on the uh, on the nets? I know Anywhere? they're on the X. On the X, okay. Yeah. At Rod Ryan Show, on the X. Take a gander at Sexy James. He's a big, huge, massive man. He is. He, to, to go with that like booming voice of his and uh, firefighter, right? I, I think he's so, yes. firefighter. He looks like a huge country western guy <laughs> star. Um, so Sexy James is going to go for win number two. 
Got some uh, Nikki Glazer tickets in there for whoever wins the game. And then Struts announced yesterday. Uh, our friends, the Struts, are going to be back in town July 23rd playing the House of Blues. Tickets will go on sale Friday at 10 a.m. I mentioned we're going to play Hit the Post today. That is where you guys uh, take my job and our jobs, and you show us how easy it is uh, to hit the post. That's going to be for the fourth row tickets. We're counting down for the big show Saturday night, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, for the A Perfect Circle show. Now, the weather. I got 40% chance of rain. I got partly cloudy skies, scattered storms, 84. All hell's going to break loose tonight. There's going to be rain on the overnight, and then rain tomorrow morning, and then it should clear up. It's going to be fine for us golfing, but it's going to be hell on Roger and his team because they got to get there super early and they got to get everything set up. Yeah. The, the thing that most people don't realize, a golf tournament, I get asked all the time, Rod, I want to do a golf tournament. Hey, uh, me and my buddies, we want to do a golf tournament. I said, no, you don't. You don't. It's just, it's so much work and it, you need an army of people to do all of the things. And, you know, you think you're going to make all this money. You, you, we really make our money on all the sponsorships and things that we do, and I get to abuse this microphone. If you don't have this radio show, it's going to be tough to get those kinds of sponsorships, man. I got I got money coming in from Duke and CeCe from uh, Admiral Transfer and Rigging. I got Willie's Ice House and Grill coming out. Jim Adler, the Texas Hammer. Grazia Italian Kitchen is going to be providing the dinner. Carbach, uh, they stepped up immediately. So we've got, we, we're able to get these sponsors, and that's where we get the money for Texas Adaptive Aquatics. Formative Structures, thank you. Shop is John Deere, Shell Federal Credit Union, all of them, okay? Um, and then I got to get an update from Rosie. I got to find out. I got to talk to their half ass manager, Hustle. Mm-hmm. They can play inside, though. There's room. There is a lot of room in there. Yeah, they can play inside. Like in Plug the, them up to a cart. In the dining room? Each of them could have a cart. <laughs> I just think it's going to be rainy in the morning. No, they're not going to play uh, in the that cart. So All right. cool. Real quick. Um, who saw the eclipse? Who didn't? You were working yesterday. Did I you? I was inside. I was a working girl. Did you see nothing? You saw nothing. I had there was streams. I not not live. No, not like outside in the environment. Right. I just was watching the NASA streams. Alex, I watched Seinfeld. Chile, did you see any eclipse yesterday? Look at him. Caught him with his pants down. Uh, <laughs> hey, let me pull him up. <laughs> uh, <laughs> did you, you go outside? Dude, I did watch the eclipse. As soon as I got home, I went into the room and closed my eyes, and it went dark. Jesus H. Christ. Nice. It, it, Amazing. It's, it's, it's a, it, you should have seen the emotions on some of the people that were covering this thing. Uh, I happened to be watching the, the national news. I don't know. Maybe it was ABC that was on. And, I mean, Robin Roberts was crying. It's just like it was a transformative thing. The guy Benito from uh, Channel 13 here in Houston was getting choked up as he was reporting from somewhere. Yeah, I, I saw a lot of them. Travis Herzog and some of the other. You got some clip over here, don't you? I would love to. Some woman? Love, if, if, if you don't mind, I'd love to share 18 seconds of audio. Please. So we didn't get a great view here. But I can say that at some point the clouds opened up just a little bit. And I was able to see something. And I shared my picture uh, on socials yesterday. This Alex is immediately. Channel, I believe. Alex sent me this. This is your favorite. Yeah. <laughs> you like that, hi, Alex. That's pretty, that's pretty great. <laughs> it was a big deal for a lot of people, man. Yeah, absolutely. All right, we'll get into some of that later. Mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm. Uh, let's talk to Steven. Steven! Yo, good morning, guys. What's up, what's up, dude? How are you today? I'm doing good. Um, I just wanted to call and let y'all know I live here in Dallas. Been listening to you since, man, 2008 at least. Wow. I graduated uh, Clements 2008. That's awesome. Um, Thank you. So before that, but yo, yeah. Man, I live here in Dallas. So we got the total eclipse. It was wild man and i know people are going to say whatever they're going to say but it went dark it got cold the city went quiet i live downtown it was amazing so when you say the city went quiet i was kind of experiencing the opposite when i'm watching these different things and i, I again i just happened to be watching abc so david muir was anchoring and they were like working their way up the country when it went dark people started cheering like when they were gathered together 
Yeah, I would say like like for maybe five or ten seconds. Yeah, yeah. But then everybody stopped. It was, it again. It it was like nothing you've ever seen before. It, it, you could you looked right up to the sky. Yeah, and you could see Venus, dark sky. The lights all turned on, like all the big buildings, all their lights turned on, and you could see a plane go by. And all their lights were on, and it was amazing. You got the full halo effect and everything, and you got to see the sunbursts and then the, the diamond, the ring, and all the things that they talked about. You got to see all of that. You had clear skies. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. I took a picture of it. Yeah. Send it to me, Stephen. I, I, I'd like to see it. And thank you so much. I, I really appreciate the long-distance love. Dallas was a great spot. San Antonio, not so much. I heard from some people, some of our listeners drove there. Uh, it's an easy thing to kind of crap on. Somebody that was standing there, and they got in the totality of it, and they saw the whole thing, people said that it was it was a life-changing experience. So, And, and I got a little bit of that watching it on the national coverage yesterday. And I said, okay, I, I, now I'm buying in. This is a big deal. Let me take a short break. When we come back, i got a rec check for you. We'll find out what's trending and then we'll get set up for the game. All right, here we go. It's your brother Rod talking about Shell Federal Credit Union. I'm hearing good news about bringing back the suburb summer sizzler this summer. That's all I have to say about it. I'm hearing good news. Uh, now, you know my friends over at Shell Federal Credit Union, that's the place to go for an auto loan. Okay, spring, perfect time to hit the road in a new vehicle. How about $250 cash back from Shell Federal Credit Union on every auto loan because saving money is always in season? How about two skip a pays a year to give you that flexibility to enjoy those days even more worry-free? Okay, don't forget to ask about 90 days deferred payments to allow you to jumpstart your spring adventures without delay. Whether you're dreaming of a new set of wheels, looking to upgrade your current ride, Shell FCU will make your future bloom. Don't let your dream car drive away. Visit shellfcu.org today. Text 713-844-1100. Make it happen.
Okay, let's check out your commute. Uh, there is a stall over on the... Oh, in the Baytown area, actually, it's an accident blocking two right lanes. Highway 146 southbound after the Fred Hartman Bridge. Uh, five vehicles involved, involved here, so not a stall, more like a pileup. Traffic from Texas 146, about a 15-minute delay. Then let's head over to the north side. An accident involving an HOV, involving an overturned vehicle has the HOV lane shut down. Emergency crews are blocking left lanes both north and southbound. That's causing big, big delays on the north side. That's your rec check on 94.5 The Buzz. <laughs> 94.5 buzz. Good morning, Rod Ryan Show. Hope you're off to a great start to your Tattoos Day. I am. I am. Uh, we got a 40% chance of scattered thunderstorms. And it's going to be kind of a, this is one of those days where I say it's kind of a skanky day. Skanky is the weather word of the day today. And it is going to, like, all hell's going to break loose tonight on the overnight. We're going to get a lot of rain coming our way. So tonight, like in the evening, 50% chance of scattered thunderstorms. Overnight, boom. Uh, let's do this. What's trending over there? Okay, so it's all Eclipse stuff sure. from yesterday. So all the pictures that are coming out. Our first phone caller was really excited. Had talked about a plane passing by that you could see really clearly. There's a lot of really <laughs> awesome pictures that emerged from yesterday's event. Some of the videos, guys, I'm going to say it. They're not impressive. But then you have a handful that it's like, wow, that is beautiful. Well, that is uh, amazing. I didn't see anything great that was taken locally. <laughs> there, there you go. <laughs> but there that, you go. Was, that wasn't our fault. But no, even- no, no. I, the streams I saw were awesome. But, um, yeah, I just... I feel like if I was able to be at one of these places, I leave the I leave the photography taken to the professionals. Right. Shane, you know what I mean? Uh, our, our our buddy Shane, who listens to the show. Good morning, brother Rod. San Antonio was a bust for the eclipse. Cloud cover was so thick it got really dark for about five minutes. Still pretty cool though. I mean, he made a trip. To go and see nothing. Yeah, that's that that's tough. I am happy for the people that did get to see. I think like in Fredericksburg, the hill country, there was actually a really, really nice view of that. So if you're traveling, uh, let us know. Let us know if you hit traffic on the way back, how that whole journey um, ended. Because I know a lot of people had to make their way back to Houston. Okay, last night was the men's Final Four Championship. You had Barstool president and founder betting six figures on UConn. And he won. Dave Portnoy won um, over $2 million million dollars by pet he put down what six hundred thousand yep on them um it's pretty insane so he had eyes on that the ratings are in for the sunday women's basketball championship ncaa it's another Huge. record breaker yeah um it became the most watched basketball game men's or women's college or pro since 2019 so 18.7 million viewers uh tuned in to watch south carolina defeat i1 superstar caitlin clark those are the things that are trending on 94.5 the buzz I don't have sexy James's music anymore. Sorry. Good morning, everybody. Three time Hall of Famer Sexy James is back. <laughs> now you're fresh out of bed, head to head, one day champion. I'm making plans to talk to you guys all week. Join me on Tuesday as I make it win number two, bitches. And you're wondering, is he laying it on? No. Like, when he talks to me out there, he's like, oh, yeah, it's good to be back. Uh, yeah. He's like country wizard. Yeah, I'm like 10 feet tall. I got a kick-ass beard. That's how he talks. Mm-hmm. All right, can you beat this guy? He's been in the hall three times. 713-212-5945.
Come on. 94.5 The Buzz. Green Day's Brain Stew. Rod Ryan Show. Wakey, wakey. Let's go. Let's go. People got the, uh, the eclipse hangover going on today. It's a little slow. I mean, a lot of people call to try to get in against Sexy James, so I'm not worried about that. The emails are a little down. I feel like uh, people took a couple days, maybe. I'm looking at the weather. Mm. We're going to be fine. It's going to be really, really rainy on the overnight. Tomorrow's the golf tournament, so that's why I'm really, really looking at the weather. I know you guys probably want to know about today. 40% chance of scattered thunderstorms today. 50% chance maybe for the drive home. Overnight, boom, we're all getting it. A lot of rain. But it's done by 10, and we have a shotgun start at noon. Now, that sucks for Roger and everybody at Texas Adaptive Aquatics. They have a lot of setting up to do and a lot of work to do. So I don't know if we're going to have to push back a little. I'm waiting. I sent an email to Roger this morning. So the golf tournament's happening tomorrow, though. We're going to be great. Uh, Sexy James. Brother Rod. All right, don't lay it on any thicker. <laughs> Jeez. Okay, save something for the rest of us. Um, you going for win number two today? Yes, sir. All right, my brother. Uh, oh, I, Alex, we got some fresh fish. Good morning, Brian. Good morning. Brian, are you one of our listeners that has a very famous name? I, I happen to have a famous name, yeah. yeah. Tell everybody who you are. Uh, my name is Brian Wilson. Brian, I am not a beast boy. Brian Wilson, everybody. <laughs> Bravo. Brian Wilson. I, I love our listeners with uh, with favorite name or famous names. Um, you've never played before, huh? No, it's my first time. So great having you on. What does Alex have for you? Oh, the original. <laughs> <laughs> That's where the whole fresh fish came from. Shawshank. All right, well, hopefully, sexy, you don't want, you, oh, God, getting Shawshanked by Sexy James would be the worst. Mm-hmm. It's like, can I, it would be. can I get somebody a little smaller, please? Um, <laughs> shout out your name when you think you know the answer. What are they playing for? I have a pair of tickets to see comedian Nikki Glazer at 713. All right, there you go. Mm-hmm. Uh, hey, Sexy James is really good, Brian. You're going to have to say your name quick. You're going to have to get the correct answer. You're going to have to do that twice before James does all it, right? right? All right, James. I'm nervous as ish. So nah, let's do this. You're fine. It's easy. No one's listening. <laughs> Everyone's still <laughs> sleeping after the hang or after the eclipse. Um, James, I know you're ready. Yes, sir. Here we go. Question number one. Shout out your name. What utility bill charges you for washing dishes and Brian. taking a bet? Ba- Brian. Brian. Got through first. It's Brian. Me. Brian. What? What's the answer? It, it's water. Yeah, your the, the water bill. Who is this guy, Alex? Nobody knows. Are you sure he's a fresh fish? Sure seems like it. Did anybody fact check this? No. <laughs> that was fast. That was very fast. Next question. James Bryan. What clownfish is... James. The- James. Nemo. Is the most famous in the Disney Pixar franchise. It is Nemo. <laughs> very good. Brian. Didn't say anything. No, nah, he got me. Yeah, we know. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. Here we go. Uh-uh. What Texas wildflower is popular for photo hey, shoots Brian. this time? James. James. Blue bonnet. Correct answer. <laughs> What are the other ones? Paintbrushes? Indian you, paintbrush. You call them that? Do we still call them that? I do. Have you run that by the Indians? Uh, no. <laughs> it's a good little book. Hey, Brian, I really, I thought we were going to get some sort of a Cinderella story here, but you. I did too. It's all good. It's you were, all good. You were kind of a version of a one pump chump, you know, on that one question, really. Hey, man, you know, you know, it's three one four, boy. Hey, good, good, good job, Jan. But for uh, Thanks, for being nervous against a three-time Hall of Famer, you did really good, man. I hope you play again. Oh, uh, yeah. I'll be back. Okay, Brian. Thanks. Brian Wilson, everybody, for the Beach Boys. Sexy James. Wasn't, yes, sir. Wasn't even bothered at all by him getting that first question. Uh, can you play tomorrow? Every damn day. He says he's going to be on all week, kids.
Come on. Come on. 94.5, The Buzz. Good morning, Rod Ryan Show. Happy Tattoo Tuesday to you. 40% chance of rain. Scattered thunderstorms throughout the day. 50% chance of scattered thunderstorms tonight. Overnight, boom, pouring. And Sexy James pulled off the win. Good morning, everybody. This is three-time Hall of Famer Sexy James. So sorry. No womp pumps up here. I am your fresh out of bed, head-to-head, two-day champion. I'll say it again. I'm going to be on with you all week. Join me on Wild Card Wednesday as I make it win number three, bitches. My headphones are rattling with that voice. Uh, He said the guy that he was playing, Brian Wilson, He said, ask him if he was on a landline. I didn't hear. I couldn't tell the difference. He said the land, he, Sexy James, his theory is that landlines have an advantage. I don't know. Did it sound like a landline to you, Hal? But James won. No. Yeah, he wasn't complaining, but he was just talking about getting smoked on that first question. And he said, man, it's, he goes, I feel like that guy was on a landline. I'm like, all right, that's another one of those crazy. I mean, you guys spend way too much time thinking about all these Theories. Yeah, just get smoked and move on. Yeah, just be, just come in here and be awesome. Like Alex. Exactly. And his twin over there. Uh, 1965. April 9th. Remember it well. April 9th, 1965? Yeah. What do you remember about that day? Not a whole lot. It's 59 years ago, Hal. You don't remember much about that. Jeez, Hal. Uh, The Astrodome opened with an exhibition game between the Astros and the Yankees. Mm. Mickey Mantle hit the stadium's first home run. So, listen, I don't need to over-explain. You guys know all this stuff. The Astrodome was the first fully enclosed sports stadium, the first air-conditioned Event venue of its size, seating over 70,000 fans, enough space to include an indoor chapel and a bowling alley. Nice. You like that, Al? Yeah. The eighth wonder of the world. Thank you very much. So, uh, 59 years old. Uh, Fun fact, you're more likely to die on your birthday. What? What? Yeah. How? Yeah, statistically, you're more likely to die on your birthday. So... You're more like on your birthday than any other day of the year. What are you doing on your birthday? You're partying. Or you're depressed. Uh Uh-oh. You're eating more. You're drinking more. Statistically, you are more likely to die. For a lot of people, birthdays are very, very depressing. So there's a slightly higher rate of people offing themselves. But the main reason is, I think, is celebrating too hard. Oh, I think I gave two reactions. I think I need one more. That's neat. Uh, finally, geez, I'm not looking forward to my birthday anymore. <laughs> That's fun. Thanks, Rod. I think we've covered this before. I like it. The USDA has 1.5 billion with the B pounds of cheese stashed in the in some caves in Missouri. <laughs> Have we been there before? Not, I mean, have we been there on the air together before on this one? I don't know that I've heard that on the air. So it started about 75 years ago as uh, some sort of a plan to stabilize dairy prices in the country. Now it's mainly used for food assistance programs. But just like we're storing gold, we're storing cheese. Yeah. Well, cheese. They need to let it go and, and feed people. I, but it started 75 years ago. How, how long can that people cheese People don't last? need more cheese, dude. Yeah. Trust me. I think we do. Yep. Being a lower income family growing up, we used to get free cheese. It was delicious. And I used to use the boxes for my baseball cards. They fit perfectly in the cheese box. Yeah. So that's where I kept all my cards. Uh, what do you give it away? I have a pair of tickets to see the Struts at the House of Blues. All right. There's a town here in Texas that saw 94% partial solar eclipse. What is the town called specifically here in Texas that we talked about yesterday that got to see a 94% partial solar eclipse? You'd think they would have got the whole thing, but they didn't. 713-212-5945.
All right. Uh, hi, Hal. We still on for golf tomorrow? Uh, yeah, I'm bringing my uh, slickers. Yeah, you're not worried about the rain, are you? Oh, heck okay. no. No. All right. No. Just, I'll just borrow Alex's cape. I'll be fine. <laughs> How'd we do on Wall Street yesterday? It was a mixed day on Wall Street. The Dow, it was down 11 points to 38,892. NASDAQ up 5 to 16,253. Benchmark 10-year Treasury is at a 4.39%. And oil trades at $86.52 a barrel. Two of the most active is the big studs, Nike, 3M, and Home Depot. The big duds, Merck, Caterpillar, and Intel. The economic calendar this morning, it's all clear. Right now, futures... They are slightly on the downside. Come on, let's turn this baby around. That's it. I'm out here. This is Hal Manager Director with Raymond James, reporter for The Rod Ryan Show. From Raymond James on San Felipe and Augusta, and don't forget to always rock out with your stock out. Seeing is believing with Manai Institute's April LASIK promotion. So listen, you don't need to let glasses and contacts keep you from enjoying everything you love this spring. And I want to help debunk some common LASIK myths so you can see life better. So myth one, I heard LASIK only lasts 10 years. That's totally wrong. LASIK can provide long-lasting results for many patients, offering years of improved vision. Just ask Dr. Paul Mann, who had LASIK in 1999, and still sees 2020 today. So here's what you do. You call 800 My Vision or visit maneye.com online. That's how you schedule your 100% free LASIK screening. Do that today. 800 My Vision or visit maneye.com. Yo, what's up, fellas? It's your brother Rod talking about Centergenics. Rod, what is this Centergenics? What they put together a website that makes it so easy. I know most of you are driving in the car right now. You're like, what the hell did Rod just say? Endmylowtea.com. What's low T? Low testosterone. Guys, if you have lack of energy, the motivation isn't where you want it to be. The libido's not anywhere near where you need it to be. These are symptoms that could be caused by low testosterone levels. That's why they set up this website endmylowtea.com. It's just set up for you guys that listen to us in the morning, okay? At Centergenics, the medical providers there exclusively specialize in customized testosterone treatment, and they're going to make you feel great again, okay? At Centergenics, you're going to get your results back at your first visit. Book an appointment online, endmylowtea.com.
An accident's blocking two left lanes on 288 going northbound at Croy. There's traffic from CR 56, packs and patients there. Um, the I-45 North Three Way southbound at Rankin, there's an accident involve, involving an overturned vehicle. That has the HOV lane completely shut down. So left lane, north and southbound, blocked by emergency crews right now. That's your rec check on 94.5 The Buzz. Ninety-four five, the buzz. Good morning, Rod Ryan Show. Good morning. Who's this? This is James. Hi, James. Uh, we talked about a very specific little tiny town here in Texas that was going to see a ninety-four percent partial solar eclipse. What's the name of that town? Eclipse, Texas. Eclipse, Texas. Sure. Where the hell is it? Um, it's like north of Beaumont. By Jasper, if you know where Jasper is, but it's, <sighs> it's close to the Louisiana line, state line. Uh, congratulations, you win. What are you giving James? Oh, you get a pair of tickets to see the Struts at the House of Blues. Congratulations, dude! Oh, awesome! Awesome! awesome.
All right, here we go. 94.5 The Buzz. Good morning, Rod Ryan's show. Uh, back to the fun facts today. I talked about that underground surplus of cheese. Yes. Billion pounds of it. Uh, one of our Joshes, Josh Hiller, I believe, uh, he sent me a Facebook page. It's a group. You have to join. And the name of the group is Storm the Cheese Cave. They can't stop all of us. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Joshua Hiller. So, yeah, it's a real thing. It is a real thing. Uh, next hour, Glass Animals tickets before they go on sale Thursday at 10 o'clock. We're going to play Hit the Post in the 8 o'clock hour. We got rain coming today, and we got Tessa telling us uh, Houston's headlines. Yeah, well, there was plenty surrounding the big eclipse yesterday, including Google searches for my eyes hurt skyrocketing right after it happened. Uh, so people were Googling around the time when the moon was passing between the Earth and the sun. And it, yeah, so people uh, looking up at the sky, then maybe getting a little bit of a headache. Uh, there was a pretty cool story locally in Mansfield uh, there was a baby born during the eclipse, and the parents named her Soul, which means sun. She has a four-year-old sister named Luna, which means moon. Um, thought that was pretty cute. We have a recap page for all this, so go to links and guess. With uh, legislators back in session after a break, one leading Republican in the Senate went on the record backing the House's proposed bill targeting TikTok. Senator Minority Leader Mitch McConnell spoke from the Senate floor yesterday and said that TikTok is a pressing threat against Americans. So this is a matter that deserves Congress urgent attention. He says he'll support common sense bipartisan steps to take one of Beijing's favorite tools of coercion and espionage off the table. The big story yesterday. There's a lot of talk about how divided America is and how divisive things are, but that may be changing. According to Sausage, the Johnsonville Sausage Company recently conducted a survey on American attitudes, and 80% of adults say they're sick and tired of the anger and negativity in America. Wait, wait, wait. Hang on a second. So we're referencing a sausage poll? Yes. A sausage company. That's right. That did a poll question. That's right. Sure. Uh, 89% <laughs> sure. <laughs> want less negativity. Um yeah, 89%, uh, include me in there. In the news and social media, it's led to us feeling less connected. 60% of adults say having fun with people has gotten harder lately, but 80% say there are people in their lives they really want to reconnect with, even if they disagree on some of the bigger issues. This is really perfect. For those of you that, you know, you're, you're, you're done with CNN and Fox, like what is the sausage industry saying about America? <laughs> Hey, you know what? Kudos to them for trying to bring people together instead of dividing them apart. 71% say it's easier to bond with someone who's on the other side of the issues that maybe you disagree with if you're sharing great food. There it, go. There it is. Do you see the tie-in? Sausage food? Okay. 75% uh, of Americans agree that people are mostly good. So people that like sausage rule. It appears that way. Appears that way. Uh, Britney Spears is in no hurry to restart her music career, but at some point she maybe wants to make money again? I don't know. I think she has a lot. So I had this story on the Looking at Girls blog page yesterday, and then it just kind of took off everywhere. So we're kind of revisiting it. Now it's got its own blog page. So what are they suggesting here? Well, since Britney is already posting really, like, skimpy, you know, outfits, and mm -hmm. she's almost near naked on the internet yeah. on her IG. Awesome. There's this OnlyFans manager saying, why not get paid for it? Uh, she supposedly is, is a so-called OnlyFans manager, and she believes that Britney could bank $100 million a year on the platform. She thinks Britney could make 13 to $18 mil in her first month, then level off to about $6 million to $9 million per month. How do you get um, that job? I want to be an OnlyFans manager. You got to be Britney Spears. No, That's but I want to be an OnlyFans manager, not somebody oh. that does the OnlyFans. Just be like, I'll oh, manage sure. yours. Hey, for a small cut, I can manage your photos. It's just like an internet pimp. It's like, hey, you post this you stuff anyway. You send them to me, I'll post them. Why don't we just put this on OnlyFans? It's stories like Hit this up, ladies. that we'll make do, it- so I got you that make it attractive, I think, to your average person that says, well, maybe I could make a lot of money on OnlyFans. Most people are not making a lot of money on OnlyFans. Right. If you have a name like her, even if you have a name like, what's that C-level person from The Sopranos? Uh, Dre De Mateo. She said she's, she's made more on OnlyFans than she ever made on The Sopranos. That's but she's wild. already kind of a famous name. Right. And there's a bunch of weirdos that love The Sopranos, which I am now. Um, That's great. Paige Van Zant made more on OnlyFans than she made fighting. If you right. already have a following, you're going to significantly have an easier time. It's like with podcasts. If you're just a random person starting a podcast, it's yeah. going to be a little bit diff more difficult than when Dax Shepard started a podcast. Pass the Gravy is basically this kid's OnlyFans, although he doesn't charge for it. You I know. Don't. And it's just like you're Yet. scraping to get people to listen Watch and look at you. scandalous, though. So, <laughs> I, 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 yeah, okay. 
She, I don't think this manager is wrong. I think no, Brittany, she would make she would clean up. I think she would make the most money of anybody in the history of OnlyFans if she decided to do it. Hmm. I don't know about that. She'd make a lot. It's Britney. Oh, is it Britney? Black China? I, had I think all she's got to do is take down Black China's numbers. I think all she has to do is yeah, like remove those little emojis that I she think puts Brittany, on Yeah, Britney takes down Black pictures. China in like a day. Uh, when Eddie Van Halen passed away, he was surrounded by his ex-wife Valerie Bertinelli, their son Wolfgang, Eddie's brother Alex, and then Alex's two sons and pizza, which they ordered after he died. Valerie says, "I forgot who suggested it, but suggested it, but we were like, should we have pizza because he couldn't eat, and the last thing he really wanted, the last thing Ed really wanted was pizza. He loved pizza, he loved burritos, so he said that she said they had pizza in the hospital room, and she hopes people don't think that's morbid." Were people mad at her about that? Hang on. Did, just very specific to the story. Did they order pizza after he died? Like flatlined and then they ordered pizza? Or while he was- Probably not to celebrate. His, they were probably it like, just we have says to after eat. he passed. Yeah, so after. They're sitting around with eating pizza while, with him, a dead they body in the room. Eat. Huh? Like, they didn't eat. Like, they're just not going to eat? Okay, Never like, eat again? In the room with a dead body? Rod wants you to lose your appetite if anything ever happens. Leave Maybe the room. Maybe they didn't in the room. Maybe they, went, they left the room. Pizza yeah. around An me? An homage. An homage to you. This guy wanted. loved pizza. Hey, Tessa, if I die before you Viking funeral me, I'd like you to have a pizza. Can I have with some my crawfish? Body, my dead body. Okay, I'll have some crawfish. I'll throw the shell Throw the shells like in the Viking funeral boat. <laughs> Those are Houston's headlines. I don't like it. <laughs> For the second straight year, the UConn Huskies, the champions of the men's college basketball world, they beat Purdue 75-60 to 60 last night in the national championship game. They're the first back-to-back -back champions since Florida did it in 2006 and 2007. In the NBA, Rockets are going to be back in action tonight. They'll host the Orlando Magic at the Toyota Center. Tip-off is at 7. You can listen to that one on our sister station, News Radio 740 KTRH. Astros got a win last night. They came back to beat the Rangers 10-5 to to split their four-game series. Jordan Alvarez and Victor Caratini both homered in the game for the Strohs. Tonight, they're going to open up a three-game series with the Royals. Christian Javier is going to be on the mound for the Astros, going up against Kansas City's Cole Raggins. First pitch is at 640, and you can hear it on our sister station, Sports Talk 790. That is what's going on in sports. All right. What are we doing next hour? Glass animals tickets? Sure. Before they go on sale, I'll get to those at around 720. 8.20, we play Hit the Post. Hey, it's your girl, Tessa. You know my friends over at Primeway Federal Credit Union. They want to help you. Any financial problems you have, well, they have solutions to those financial problems. That's also why they offer a great checking account, the best checking account in Houston. Primeway Federal Credit Union can let you earn up to, will let you earn up to 2% interest plus extras that give you protection and peace of mind like dark web monitoring, mobile phone protection, shopping rewards, travel and leisure discounts, telehealth, and so much more. Since they truly care about helping out their members, that's why they offer all of those account features. You can open your account online by visiting www.primewayfcu.com. It's user-friendly, easy online application. You can get your account open online today. It's Primeway Federal Credit Union. Emergency road work is blocking three left lanes on I-45 southbound at Luetta. Um, I believe this is just expansion of that overpass sticking out lane. That's causing flat tires. A bunch of vehicles have been pulled over. That's in the spring area, so just be aware of that. Over in Humble, a left lane is blocked on East Tech southbound at FM 1960. They're stopping over from North Park Drive. That's your rec check on 84.5 The Buzz.
All right, here we go. 94.5 The Buzz, back loser. Welcome to the seventh spot. If you're carrying over from homeroom, thank you. If you're just joining us, wakey, wakey. Put a rubber on your snakey. It's going to be wet today. It'll be raining. Uh, more rain this afternoon than what we I see today. Overnight, rain. Tomorrow morning, rain. Golf tournament should be fine. I, I see it clearing up by 10 o'clock. We have a 12 o'clock start for our golf tournament tomorrow, so I think we're going to be good. Um, I mean, I know we're playing. The, the, the golf tournament's on. Let me just make sure I say that. Okay. Uh, Glass Animals. We announced that concert. Tickets go on sale this Thursday at 10 a.m. We'll have tickets for you for the September 21st show coming up after the break. We're going to play Hit the Post next hour. Um, I've been waiting to do this poll. I was a, It was a toss-up. I had two. I got two poll questions like brewing around in my head. That's what happens. I got, I got things just swimming around all the time. I went with the band concert t-shirt thing today. Okay. What was in the running for a... Uh, Poll question. You don't know because I haven't told you yet. Mm -mm. Alex, let me just ask you because maybe the poll question isn't worth doing. Do you ever use the wiener hole in your underwear? Mm. I'm 100% uh, only, no. Only with like. Uh, Please. If it's a, a formal occasion and maybe I got a suit. <laughs> you, you use the. I'm tucked in. Yeah. And I don't want to. Like, I'm not a good. I don't dress up a lot, so like I have that. I'm, I have a problem where I always bunch the shirt in the back, and yeah. I get mm -hmm. real self conscious about that. So like, if I've already tucked in, I do a good tuck job yeah. with the shirt. I'm not undoing it. So like, I'll go pee, and I just gotta use the you use the wiener hole. hole. Yeah, sometimes like I'll practice the day before because like I want to make sure that there's no dribbling on the pants. I don't know if I've ever used the wiener hole in the underwear. And why not? I mean, it's because you just just pull it down. It's kind of intimidating. Yeah, it's it just, is it's way easier to do. It's so much work. You're you're and gathering. There's the risk of like leaving stuff, <laughs> moving and things dripping. around, and I. It could be a, there's there's a lot that could go wrong. Okay, I, then I you've proved my point that we do need to to cover this. What we are covering today is the concert T-shirts, mm -hmm. and I'm a little surprised. I know I'm a weirdo. I mean, let me just get this out of the way. Okay. I have eight to ten Motorhead T-shirts. Yeah. Okay. Just you have like th a thousand band shirts. I have a hundred concert T-shirts at least, or, or band T-shirts. Yeah. Bands, artists. I'm in the six to ten category on Motorhead. Right. My question this morning: About how many band musician T-shirts do you currently own? And this is this has turned out to be a good one too. I don't know if the Wiener Hole will do that well. Um, Twenty-two percent of our audience, none. Zero. That's weird to me. That's weird. So I was cleaning out my closet yesterday, and those were the most sentimental items in there because everyone is, like, tied to a different memory. You have a I, Santana one I see you wear from time to time. You got a Jimi Hendrix one. I've quizzed you on all, like, you know, give me some songs. Right. Um, but those are a couple, right? Sublime. Yeah, I got just, a little, yeah. These are in regular Janis rotation. Joplin, little Red Hot Chili Peppers. Mm -hmm, of course. A corn. I how got many, Evanescence. How many do you got? So here's the categories. None, less than five, six to ten. Over 10. Blink-182, Alex. I have one. You have over 10 right now. Absolutely. Okay. Alex. I probably have 6 to 10, yeah. 6 to 10. Yeah. You don't have more than 10 concert band You have like artist, five Black Keys shirts. shirts, dude. I have one Black Keys you shirt. You have two. At I least. I have one. No, dude. Um, I cleaned what? out my closet when I moved, so like I got rid of a lot of them. Okay. They said metalheads have the most. Metalheads spend the most money on on band T-shirts. You wouldn't get it. Um, <laughs> Chili. I mean, are you counting Cheech and Chong as a musical act? Yes. I mean, they did make music. They that put guy. out an album. He might have seven Cheech and Chong shirts. Um, <laughs> Selena. <laughs> five <songs>. Selena. <laughs> um, I have about 10 oh, to 20. 10 to 20. Yeah. Yeah, that's including rappers and uh, rock bands and everything. It really would have been fun to put like some sort of like crazy category like 50, but I was only allowed, four, you're only allowed four uh, positions uh, in your poll question. 21% of our audience has no band musician t shirts. 45% of us have less than five. 15% six to 10. 18% of our audience over 10. I'd like just answer. You can also, you know, you can also you can respond to the poll question if you have some astronomical number or just even of one particular band or something. Uh, I'd love to hear from you. 
I might have 10 Motorhead shirts. You have so many different shirts. You have more T-shirts than anyone I've ever met. Yeah, not everybody gets their way through the bedroom in my house into the closet, but anyone that does does make a comment. It's weird. <laughs> I, then I, I don't feel weird until somebody sees my closet and then they see the the most unbelievably long the longest row of black t-shirts you've ever seen. And they're not. I mean, you know, how many Harley t-shirts do I have? 30? Enough. 30. Too many. Of course, too many. But we're talking specifically. We'll talk Wiener Hole tomorrow. Concert. <laughs> <laughs> Wiener can't Holt's, wait. Wiener I Holt can't wait tomorrow. for the, the results <laughs> of that Seven one. o'clock. <laughs> set your clocks. <laughs> I mean, Radio Wizard says you got to set that appointment. Appointment listening. Mm-hmm. So tomorrow at 6, I will be live on the X with a poll question about the Wiener Hole. Right now, it's about I concert and band t-shirts. Okay. It's your brother Rod talking about Red Mountain Weight Loss. Their revolutionary weight loss medication taking the world by storm. It's Revelex. Now, all of these semaglutide meds are doing really well on the market right now. Okay? Full disclosure. Semaglutide is FDA approved for weight loss. But Revelex, I'm telling you it's the way to go because people are getting the results that you hope to and what you're hearing. You're losing up to 15 pounds per month. But Revelex is half the price of the other semaglutide meds on the market, and it comes in a full-strength daily tablet. So there's no needles or anything else. You've heard about some of the other ways to get this. No needles, okay? It's, it's in stock at Red Mountain Weight Loss right now. And there's no waiting to fill your prescription, so there's no back orders, okay? You get an effective weight management dose right away. It means you can lose up to 15 pounds in one month. you got to schedule an appointment. You have to get a prescription for it, and you can get that through Red Mountain Weight Loss. Dial pound 250, keyword Red Mountain Weight Loss. Dial pound 250, keyword Red Mountain Weight Loss. Hey, it's your brother, Rod, talking about Serta Pro painters. They're the pros, okay? Serta Pro, they are the pros. Get the power of pro on your side. Commercial properties, yes. Residential properties, yes. Your home, your bedroom, your dining room, indoor, outside, they do it all. The power of timeliness and doing it right and the localness of them, I love. Serta Pro painters, get the power of pro on your side. Schedule that free estimate at certapro.com. That's always going to be Serta with a C for your home, for your business. And like I said, each Serta Pro painter business is independently owned and operated locally right here in our community. Official painting partner of our Houston Astros, certapro.com.
An accident's walking two left lanes still on 288 South Freeway northbound at Croy Road. So just have some patience there. It's about a 15-minute delay. There was a five-vehicle pileup in Baytown, but that accident has cleared. There's still a little bit of stop and go on Highway 145 if you're going southbound after the Fred Hartman Bridge. But that's the reason, and that's the delay. That's your rec check on 94.5 The Buzz. Ninety-four five, the buzz. Good morning, Rod Ryan show on this Tat Tuesday. Got a great ticket coming up for you. We got rain on tap today. We should be fine. Uh, well, at least let me know if it's raining near you. I, I, it seems to be kind of uh, well scattered th- storms. That's what they do. Um, but we do have some rain coming later on, late afternoon. Fifty percent chance of scattered storms, and then boom, everyone's getting rain. I guess it's going to get nasty tonight. Remember that chick RV chilling? Yeah, I do. That's I do. Her, that's her account on Instagram. Yeah. She says she's listening to us down in Boca Chica near SpaceX. She, I think she redid a uh, old school bus. Dude. And she lives in it and she listens to us on iHeart. This is my future. I will be doing this. <laughs> this is my retirement plan. <laughs> she wants to know, do you hang up or fold all your concert shirts? Uh, everything's on a hanger for me. I do, I do hanger. Your hanger too? Yeah. Yeah. Easier. You can't keep track when you get that many. You, like they're folded. You. I'm not a strong folder person. Yeah, I can't fold without getting them wrinkled. Yeah, folding is you set yourself up for failure on that. But if you ever dated a military guy, they can fold. Oh really? Really? Okay, and make the bed. They yes. Yeah, yes. They're awesome at making beds. All um, right, what do you got? Okay, so the Tat Tuesday uh, feature today is submitted by listener Justin. He is the reason for our number one blog page. So shout out listener Justin. Get Thank over there you. if you haven't already. Um, your Looking at Girls blog page is our second most popular um, blog page today. Ooh, Jenna Jameson, 50 years old today. Ooh, Happy I birthday. Heard about her in a while. Jenna, we have not talked about Jenna Jameson in forever. Well, she was really sick for a while. And I think she's, she's on the men now. Good. Good, to, good to hear she's doing well. Yeah, Jenna's going to be all right. <laughs> also, uh, Lainey Wilson on the Looking at Girls blog page. How's well, she doing? Who, uh, great. She looked great. Her good. outfits good. at CMT Awards. Leathery. Looked awesome. Best dress. Like leather. At CMT. Always. To me. Roll always. around in her closet. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> that and then uh, all the Eclipse Aftermath stuff. That's what's trending on 94.5 The Buzz. All right. What are we giving away? I have a pair of tickets to see Glass Animals on their tour of Earth show starting September 21st at Woodlands Pavilion. All right. So win them before they go on sale. Call her 10 713 212 5945.
94.5 The Buzz. Good morning, Rod Ryan Show. I have no Fallout Boy t-shirts. I would feel... <laughs> I That's Why one of not? the... Because I secretly like them, and I'm embarrassed at how much I like them. So, Dude. as a rule of thumb, I have no concert shirts from bands with boy in their name. Hmm. Well, not now, even I don't even have a Beach Boy shirt. Getting for your birthday. I don't even have a Beach Boy shirt. <laughs> no, I'm not running around wearing a Fallout Boy shirt. Why like, not? Look at that douchebag in his 50s wearing a Fallout Boy shirt. Hey, how many um, <laughs> Harley Davidson shirts do you have? 25. Okay. I uh, so. I'm, I, I'm, that so, was like my go to for 25. one of your little birthdays. I was like, I'll just get him like a Harley shirt. I, he always wears those. Yeah. Uh, we're talking about concert shirts today. Uh, our poll question kind of curious how many band musician t shirts? I, I did it that way because I, you bought me, I think, a Britney Spears t shirt. Um, so, band, it's not really a band, but that counts, right? Yeah, that course. counts. It doesn't have to be from a concert. It doesn't right. have to be from a concert either. So, how many band musician t shirts do you own? 19% of the audience, none. 43% of our audience, less than five, six to 10, 16% of the audience. And then uh, 21% of our audience has over 10. Uh, this guy over here, he just emailed me. He's got 300. Oh, and wow. his wife's like, that's enough. That is enough. He said, enough is enough. And it's the metalheads always. It's always the metalheads. Brother Rod, Charlie here. I listen to your show every day. Heard on the radio you were talking about your shirt collection. I don't call it a shirt collection. I just have a bunch. I don't know. I don't collect them. Same, Rod. At one point, I had 300 concert shirts. They were taking up so much space in my house. My wife twisted my arm. I donated a bunch of them to shelters. Right now, I'm sitting on 180. Rock, punk, metal, 15 Iron Maiden shirts. <laughs> nice. <laughs> I love it. I love it. That's really funny. Thank you, Charlie. Nice, nice, nice. I probably have 200 band shirts. I'm telling you, I, think I, I have 200. They're really hard. They There's an emotional... Attachment. To They're hard these. to get rid of, yeah. right? Yeah, 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 they are. Uh, let's go over to the phones. Good morning, Rod Ryan Show. Who's this? This is Kevin. Kevin, how many uh, band musician t shirts do you own currently? One. I have a Nirvana shirt. <laughs> you have a what? Nirvana shirt. I thought he said that. I have an Obama shirt. I'm like, I, yeah. did he? I mean, maybe he did a spoken <laughs> word. <laughs> you got a Nirvana Orator shirt. Concert. You got a good one. I'll say that. I mean, if you're going to have one, Nirvana's the one to have, I guess. Uh, hey, dude, you're caller number 10. Congratulations, Kevin. All right. What are you giving him? Kevin, maybe you pick up a Glass Animals concert t shirt at their Touriverse show. You got tickets, man. Congrats. All right. Thank you. All right. You and your one band shirt. Congratulations, dude. Uh, thank you for listening. All right. I've been listening forever. Uh, oh, I love that. And, uh, Go ahead. And I'm always trying to call. I just never can get through. Chili. Till the day. <laughs> <laughs> I just, there's the bus. Throw chili under it. All right. Th <laughs> thank you, Kevin. Do you know? The Muffin Man? Yes. <laughs> Do you know a couple? That they're great together. They're happily married or happily together. They've yeah. been together a while. Oh, okay. And they both get wasted together. <laughs> I know. Uh, yeah, I do. I know several. Yeah, I do too. And they seem like the happiest couple ever. <laughs> they go out and just get shamammered. All, they're on the same level of just getting wasted. Yeah, you got to find that sweet spot. <laughs> you like one cannot be drunker than the other. I'm That's amazed. The that becomes the worst relationship ever. So now I'm talking about an extreme here, but there's I know a, a few couples. I know more than a, I, know, I know more than three couples that get wasted on the reg. Yeah. And they've been together a long time. And it's that's like just they, how they function. It's like their thing. But they're not just, they're, they seem happy. <laughs> well, I hope so. I hope they're not drinking and they're upset. Couples who drink together live longer. Nice. Alex, you and your wife can't be anywhere near on the same level of drinking. Dude. There's very few people on the level of drinking as you. Dude. Tell them, Alex. When Go you, ahead. When you uh, pour you it on. I disagree. You can tell them. When you pour it on. <laughs> Um, I mean, when, when we pour on, Emma can drink with me. She Emma pours it on? can drink, okay? She, she pours it on with you? Emma can drink. Emma can hang. Yeah. yeah. And I know my girl misses alcohol, so as soon as she pops that baby out, I'm taking We're her taking to We're taking champagne to the delivery room. Literally, well, I cannot wait. Okay. Well, you know, there's breastfeeding and stuff you right. got to consider. Gonna, yeah, that's We're pump and dump. We've already pump decided. Pump and dump. Okay.
I mean, listen. <laughs> made our minds now up. Now, listen. Sharing a bottle of wine with your partner on date night, I, you know, that's great, okay? But it could be good for your longevity. So I want you to think about this. Couples that drink together live longer than couples where one partner drinks and the other doesn't, or neither partner drinks. What? This is another one of those, hey, drinking's not so bad for you type also, of deal. Also, if okay. you drink together, I feel like your fights, you uh, you will find out, oh, we're not going to fight when we drink, because now you have, to, you have to get past that part, and we never really had that, but I uh-huh. know couples that fight when they drink, and you either stop that, or it's not going to work it's out. It's not going to work out if you fight when you drink. I'm fine with all of this, but I feel like you're, you're, in, a, you're in a relationship that doesn't have fights ever. Is that true? Because, I mean, I'm pretty awesome. Who would want to fight with me? I would. I want to fight you every day. Right, but you don't There's, get me. Emma understands I me. look at you, she and I want to makes me tick. punch you in the face. No, you guys every have morning. been dating for a while. I'm sure you had to go through a phase of, okay, don't do that when you drink anymore. Okay. Yeah, yeah, definitely. But, like, never, like, a fight fight. Oh, no. Yeah. No, no, no. Okay. So You're they, not an angry. You get super nice. Alex is everyone's pal. Oh, yeah. Then I see the whole sweet, my sweet boy, Alex, (laughs) after he's had a case of beer. Yeah, I'm a great guy. So they looked at 4,500 couples (laughs) that are either married or live together, and they interviewed them every two years over the span of 20 years. And couples where both partners drank alcohol sometimes, I'm not talking about getting shammered like those couples we started with, but when, when both partners drank alcohol sometimes, they lived longer than the couples that didn't drink or one drank and the other didn't. Mm, when you're both drinking. Light drinking led to better survival rates than abstaining from alcohol or heavy drinking. Wow. Huh. Having a little bit was good huh, yeah. in this study. Okay, Science. I mean, you're doing a sausage study for crying out loud. I can do my study. <laughs> this is like a good one. <laughs> when people have similar drinking habits, it may be a sign of compatibility in your lifestyles, which means maybe you're compatible in other things. When you have the same somewhat drinking speed. Listen, I'm, let me just make sure like we run the disclaimer here. If you're going out and getting wasted with your partner, <laughs> that's not good, yeah. okay? That's a bad compatibility. Yeah, you guys right. are enabling <laughs> each other. You're enabling <laughs> so, being yeah, alcoholics don't, together. Don't do that. People, I, I tell you what, I get lit up. <laughs> I get lit up by these uh, alcohol conversations. You know, there's people that don't drink. Yeah. And they just think a sober lifestyle. the way that you guys talk about alcohol on your show uh, it's a little disrespectful hmm. to those of us that are not partaking. I'm like, well, I said, you're, you're better than me. You're a better person you're than me. You're only choosing not drinking, to be you know? disrespected by it. Or am I going to live longer? Right. It's a good question. Science <laughs> says yes. <laughs> but I, I would never spit in the face of science. I would think that if you have oh similar so drinking respectful. habits, there's got to be some other things. It's got to be linked to compatibility on other things, too. Absolutely. Yeah. It's it, not like you know, the only thing that makes it. But like that does make it easier. When you can drink with your partner without getting into fights. Because yeah. we all, everybody knows that couple that does fight every time they drink together. And that is the worst couple to be around. Truly. When you're not in that Truly. couple, it's awesome. Uh, one expert in the study Here's, this is my takeaway. Behaviors that are good for marriage are not necessarily always good for your health. Okay. Those are my parting words. So, okay, thank you. All right. So wise. Don't get shammered.
94.5 The Buzz. Good morning, Rod Ryan's show. It's sublime and wrong way. Tess has got a sublime shirt. I do. Yeah? Mm-hmm. Online, or you pick that up somewhere? That when you one I got it, it. No, that one I got at Urban Outfitters. It was the one with all like the cigarette holes in it. And I go, oh, that's very trendy. I need that. Oh, yeah. It looks like you've had it a long time. Yeah. Um, what I'm Can't hearing. I have to wear a bra with that one. What I'm hearing from people is they have gotten out of their concert band t shirt phase. Oh, okay. That they're linking that to a younger self. Oh. And they had to kind of purge, and then they got big boy jobs and big girl jobs. Boo. And uh, I mean, I get it. You don't get to wear that stuff around the office, maybe like we do here. But right. do you have to ever? I don't want to ever abandon my rock T-shirt phase. I'm gonna, I'm gonna be buried in a Motorhead T-shirt. I just feel like it, it's a section of your closet. You know what I mean? Like right. for me, like okay, when I was just working at the radio station, it was only t-shirts and like leggings. Then I got the little TV. I'm like, okay, let me make some room for some grown-up, I guess, a- adult attire. But, I don't know. But you don't throw away Ricky Martin. No, no, never. You can't. You hang on to that just for the like weekends. You have, just like you have a section for like football season. Yeah. Baseball, like all my Astro stuff is out right now. All my football uh, stuff is out. Is yeah, away. packed away. Sure. I'm very sad for people that got out of the rock or just band t-shirt phase. Yeah. I did, that's what weekends are for. Yeah. You know, you still like music? You still wear you still wear your favorite band t-shirt? And then if you still go to a show, I mean, yeah. I that's one way I always support the band. I try to grab some merch. Well, on the X at Rod Ryan show this morning, uh, we're asking about your your band. They don't have to be concert shirts, but your your band musician t-shirts. Um hit us up at Rod Ryan show. I have shows from TV. I have shirts from TV shows. I have a bear shirt. I do too. I have a Yes Chef. I have the Burf. Oh, yeah. Chicagoland's finest. All right. That's my buddy uh, Alex over there. Hulu, or, you know, the bear. I love it. Hulu on Disney Plus. It's here. Okay. Now you can watch the hottest Hulu movies, shows, and originals all on Disney Plus. Hulu content like Poor Things, Vanderpump Villa, FS, FX's Shogun. That's now available on Disney Plus. We were just talking about the bear. You can watch that there. Too. Yes, also Chef. Got Abbott Elementary, Only Murders in the Building, as well as the Taylor Swift Eras Tour and The Simpsons, Percy Jackson. The, the, the list goes on and on. They got action-packed adventure like Low Key, and then you got the new classics like Wish, Little Mermaid, Elemental. Again, Disney Plus. Streaming new content has never been this easy. Your favorites from Hulu and Disney Plus are now together like never before. All these and more now streaming. Disney bundle subscription required. Terms apply. Visit DisneyPlus.com slash Hulu for details. All right. It's your brother Rod talking about QC Kinetics. The future of medicine is here at QC Kinetics with four locations, more on the way. QC is the nation's leader in the most exciting revolution in pain management that we've seen in decades. Regenerative medicine. If you're tired of those achy joints, it could be your shoulder, it could be your elbow, your hips, your knees. If your joint pain is keeping you from doing what you love, you need to call QC Kinetics. Surgery, steroids, drugs, those are the old ways. Those are no longer your best options. Regenerative medicine at QC Kinetics is transforming lives. Innovative treatments that deliver lasting results. This is not a Band-Aid, okay? We're talking about natural biologics using your body's own power to repair and restore damaged joints. Tissue. QC Kinetics under the leadership of National Medical Director Dr. Mitchell Scheinkup. Now, Dr. Scheinkup is a pioneer in this field. He's got 20 years of clinical work, tons of research, the teaching, the publishing, he's done it all. He wants to get your relief with a needle and not a knife. So call QC Kinetics now to learn more about some exciting options. 
Free consultation awaits at Pavement repair is affecting the left lane of I-10 East Freeway eastbound from Slowlander and exit 79-6B. That's over in Baytown. And Tomball, Highway 99 between Bordreau and Gosling, there's a five-minute delay of stop and go. And then on the north side, early this morning, an overturned vehicle has that HOV lane shut down. If I-45 southbound at Rankin, that's your rec check on 94.5 The Buzz.
94.5, the buzz. Lincoln Park and Lost. Now every band we play, I'm like, I don't think I have ever. I don't think. <laughs> shirt check. I've never had a Lincoln Park t-shirt. Uh, one from the record label, like a, a hoodie or something get, back in like the you day. Were given, Some, uh, yeah. You didn't purchase it. I feel like there was some sweatshirt, but somebody wanted it really bad, and I know I gave it to them. It was more important to them than I. Did I Alex ever have a Lincoln Park shirt? Um, no, I was never a big Lincoln Park guy. The most incubus, though, you have incubus, incubus it, yeah. and blink. I definitely have a blink shirt. More I've than had multiple blink shirts. Multiple. I only have one now. I don't know where the other ones went. Wow. You blacked out drunk with your wife. I just had them like when I was young, so like <laughs> they, you fade out of shirts. Good morning, everybody. I uh, hope you're having a great tattoos day. Uh, I can't wait. I, I'm already like in a good mood, but when we play hit the post, I love it. I absolutely love it. I want to play it all the time. Okay, then you can. Um, you do play it. I, that's what I do for a living. Okay, to I like play to hear. It more. I like to hear you guys Why? do it. No, no, you guys. <laughs> There's no you guys. Use guys make me laugh. Okay, I use guys make me laugh. <laughs> I want to play this game. We're gonna play next hour for the fourth row of Perfect Circle tickets. You get to be the DJ. Scattered thunderstorms, about a forty percent chance today. It increases a lot at night and then on the overnight, really rainy. Um, Tessa has Houston's headlines. Yeah, as it turns out, the eclipse yesterday uh, may have been a little bit of an IQ test that some people failed. According to Google Trends, search terms like my eyes hurt and why do my eyes hurt exploded in activity on Google around the time when the moon, when the moon passed between the Earth and the sun. So a lot of people, a lot of little nonsense surrounding the big eclipse yesterday. But there were some really moving um, videos and pictures. I mean, if you want to see uh, the NASA footage from the space station, we have a link to that. Uh, Logan Paul was on his private plane and he had posted a video of the eclipse the pe- there was a bunch of people that were in these planes that were just following the totality alex drink um we're still doing that today <laughs> we're not doing that. um yeah you could pay x amount of money to go in a plane and apparently it was amazing yeah there were eclipse flights being wow. sold also uh you know cloud cover did put a damper on things in some spots uh there was a weather man from mississippi that got really emotional a couple a handful the the national news the people were getting emotional and i gotta admit i was there for it i got into it i i, I kind of thought it was a goof too and i was already let down by our car, our cloud coverage because we got shafted here but watching it and having it just run in the background in my house when I was cleaning or whatever. Right. I was it was good. Yeah. It, you real they made it seem big and it was big. Yeah, absolutely. So, We're not going to get another one until I think 2045 something like that. I know 51% of our audience was essing on it, but it was big. It was a cool thing. I just can't s on like I could, but anything that's making someone feel that sort of way, I'm like Wow, that's probably really meaningful. That's like you're having a moment right now. Not that's even really a, cool. But not even eclipse nerds. It's just seeing it like, oh. It, people, it takes people's breath away. It, they, they were overcome with emotion that they right. weren't expecting. And right. that that's what came across on some of these live broadcasts. Right. Uh, the Biden administration is proposing a new plan to slash student loan debt for more than 30 million borrowers. The plan announced yesterday would affect those with runaway interest, borrowers who have been paying on loans for 20 years, and those who qualify for income-driven repayment plans. The White House estimates the plan could eliminate accrued interest on 23 million borrowers unpaid balances. A grandmother in Ohio recently got two tickets in the mail for doing 27 in a 20 mile per hour zone. The fine was 105 bucks, but the weird part, she wasn't driving. And she has proof that she wasn't driving. There's an automated traffic camera that handed out the ticket, and the footage they sent clearly shows her car hooked up to a tow truck when it happened. So we have a blog page for this. There's a picture and everything. The truck driver was the one speeding, but the camera scanned Joanne's plate and her and so she got to shoot the ticket <laughs> instead. So, um, yeah, she went to a nearby police department to show them the mistake. And they told her that the, the operator of the camera is a third party vendor. We used to have cameras here, like outside the radio station. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. It's four o'clock in the morning. There's nobody around. Daddy goes through a red just I to get run into the up office. All the time. Bam! Now. There's nothing worse than opening up a letter. It doesn't happen anymore. Mm. They must have taken the cameras out. They did. Mm. But opening up a letter and just seeing a picture of, of your you. dumb license plate. It's <laughs> and like what clearly time? you. It's like, ah, come on, I wasn't hurting anybody. Yeah.
Yeah. Uh, Robert Downey Jr. says he'd happily return as Iron Man if he's ever asked. He says it's an integral part of his DNA. He says that was a role that chose him. And he says, I always say never, ever bet against uh, the Marvel, the president of Marvel and the producer, Kevin Feige. He, he says it's a losing bet. It's a losing bet that he's the house. He'll always win. So, you know, nothing's impossible when the multiverse is involved. Meanwhile, Tom Hiddleston has no clue if Loki is coming back for another season. You can go check out the vlog page on that. All right, let's get back to our band t-shirt talk. A surprising number of Americans don't think you need to know a band's music in order to wear their merch. It's kind of an unspoken rule. If you're going to wear a band's merch, you better at least know three of their songs. So I posted a picture from the crawfish cook-off. Uh-huh. And my kid was up on stage with me. Uh-huh. She's wearing an ACDC t-shirt. Nice. First comment. Can she name three songs? Right. <laughs> right. No, she can't. But she's rocking it. She can't. It's a, you know, it's, <sighs> bad. it's a statement. I used to kind of live by that. Now I'm, you know, running around. My kid's running around in band t-shirts. She doesn't know any of these well, bands. Well, how about this? The most popular music artist t-shirt in America belongs to Olivia Rodrigo right now. She is, she really? has the most merch out there. Uh, the average person spends $400 on band shirts in their lifetime. Metal fans spend the most. They spend an average of $500. And metal fans also own the most shirts with an average of 10, while the overall average is six. 34% of Americans from this poll own a shirt from a concert that they've never even been to. By far and away, the longest merchandise line I've ever Ever seen. Oh, I know it. It's not Metallica and it's not Guns N' Roses. Those were close. Metallica had like pop up shops too. That probably Correct. bought the lines. It's Taylor Swift. ACDC. Oh. Girls, little kids. Really? Like my like my daughter. Everybody. And they want if you've never seen ACDC, they have those blinky devil horns. Uh-huh. Every chick has to have one. You have complete <laughs> FOMO if you're standing there rocking out and you don't have those on. Everyone wants those. I'm sure the Taylor, Taylor Swift, I'm sure wild, the Taylor though. Swift lines are ridiculous, but same thing. ACDC, I just never seen anything like it. I had never seen anything like that. I was in Seattle when she was going to play that night, and my hotel was by the T-Mobile Arena or Stadium, and it was mayhem, and it was like 8 a.m. Now they're allowing you to go to the concerts early yeah. and buy your shirts. They were doing that with you two in the Sphere. Yeah, you could go and buy shirts. Those are Houston's headlines. For a million dollars. That's the only way I do it now. Like, I won't buy it afterwards because the lines aren't worth it. I won't stand in line either. I, it's not it. that important to if have a shirt. If I during a show, I'll be like, I might swing by the merch, see if I can walk up and buy one right now. But, every, like, I'm not doing it after. Every single thing they're selling has to be available online. Yeah, that's that's true, too. And then they, they usually do the thing where they're like, it's sold out. You could only have bought it there, but then you wait a couple weeks and it'll be back You'll up. find it. Um, for the second straight year, the UConn Huskies are the champions of the men's college basketball world. They beat Purdue 75-60 to 60 last night in the national championship game. They're the first back-to-back -back champions since Florida did it in 2006 and 2007. And they won all 12 of their tournament games the last two seasons by double-digit points. First team to ever do that. The In the NBA, Rockets are going to be back in action tonight. They'll host the Orlando Magic at the Toyota Center. Tip-offs at 7. You can listen to it on our sister station, News Radio. 740 KTRH. In baseball, the Astros got a win last night. They came back to beat the Rangers 10-5 to to split their four-game series. Jordan Alvarez and Victor Caratini both homered in the game for the Astros. And I believe it was the bullpen that pitched eight and two-thirds innings shutout ball. Tonight, they're going to open up a three-game series with the Royals. Christian Javier is going to be on the mound for the Astros going up against Kansas City's Cole Raggins first pitch is at 640, and you can hear it on our sister station, Sports Talk 790. That is what's going on in sports. Hey, it's your girl, Tessa. Okay, full disclosure. Last year's summer was such a hot girl summer. And then the holidays. And then now crawfish season. I mean, I needed a little swift kick. And I needed some motivation. So when Planet Fitness says, hey, let's work together. I said, okay, let me see if there's a Planet Fitness by me. Are you kidding? There's one less than 1,000 feet from the TV station I work at after the radio show. Okay? And there are Planet Fitnesses all over the greater Houston area. So if you're sick of being upsold at gyms, Planet Fitness, you will get all the energy without the upsell. They are never pushy you can join planet fitness right now okay this is a deal that ends april 12th so listen up what's the deal tessa what's the deal well for just one dollar down and ten dollars a month you can join planet fitness you can cancel at any time again that deal ends friday april 12th a dollar down ten dollars a month see your home club planet fitness for details
I mean, everybody just walked out of the room. Tessa grabbed her keys, left. Alex grabbed his phone. He walked out. Hey, guys, we do rec checks on the show. I mean, look how silly I look. I'm looking at our Facebook Live. I'm the only one in the room. Um, It's the little skinny pedal on the right. Hit it. If you're going slow and you're in the far left lane, get the flip out of that lane. All right. 94.5 The Buzz. Good morning, Rod Ryan. Show on this Tattoo Tuesday. Halfway point of the show, people. A partly cloudy skies, scattered thunderstorms. About a 40% chance today. Increases tonight and then increases quite a bit uh, on the overnight. 
We're playing golf tomorrow. I'm playing golf tomorrow. I the golf tournament. Okay, for real, playing golf. The, the, well, no. Okay, let's okay. not be silly. I don't play golf okay. anymore. I just kind of cruise but around. We're, and we're playing. The the golf tournament is on tomorrow. It's on. Hey, are we doing traffic anymore on this show? Yeah. 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 Am, 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 am I doing it now, or? I don't think so. Did you just Why? grab your keys and leave? A minute ago? Grab my keys and leave. <laughs> Did you just grab your keys and leave? I grabbed a tampon and left. Okay. Was there a rec check? There sure was okay. in the same spot it's been since you started. Mm. <laughs> Brutal. Like, it's not like a new one. Brutal. <laughs> How was it? Did you have, oh, you don't have a map. Uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I was like, well, you can do it. All by myself. <laughs> don't want to be. Oh, bye, bye, I think it was for the best that I took that one off. I think. When oh. I'm alone. <laughs> yeah, it was just me. So what did you do? I said, hey, guys, hope you're having a good day. <laughs> if you're going slow in the far left lane, get the flip out of that lane. That's good advice. I think they need that every now and then. Uh, okay. Yeah, we do. Uh, they're in the same spot. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> do you watch any unboxing? Are those interesting to you? Anybody unboxing anything? I used to. I kind of fell off. I would do like um, like a PR kits that people would get from like these makeup places or... Metallica had sent in a couple of really, some of those nice box sets. I've done some unboxing videos. Yeah, they're fun. Linkin Park anniversary. They did a rodeo one. Yeah, that the, was Okay. Was fun. Um... Dude's unboxing uh, one of Amazon's twenty thousand dollar tiny homes. <laughs> what? Wait, I just, How? I just, guys, I just typed in tiny homes on Amazon Prime. There's about fifteen to twenty options. Okay. Of buying a house. Okay. On Amazon, free delivery. I'm in. Mm-hmm. Prime, right? Within two days. <laughs> <I'm just kidding>. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I mean, Alex is in. I'm. I'm in. So this tiny house on wheels. Right. It's it's made from a shipping container. Oh, dude, these are way cheaper than it, like a regular house. It's prefabricated and then free delivery April twenty fourth to May 9th. Oh, oh, oh. the fastest Alex. delivery. Let's Alex, get some land, Alex. April eleventh to the fifteenth. Um, Tessa, let's get some land, dude. Are we it's starting not, a compound? So on yeah. three things you a must cult. on three things you must see. There's a guy unboxing his tiny house. Now, what I'm saying is, wow. you can buy a house on Amazon. Finally. <laughs> That's where he bought his. Honestly, finally. Look at this one, Dude, Alex. These, what about this? this? This one right there? Oh, I've, this one has like a deck that's wooden. Now I've yeah. lost the show even more no, than yeah, I Yeah, we're now moving. Bad and now we're doing the show <laughs> from the woods. Glass. I could literally live in a glass house. And throw stones all day. Though. You got to find a place that's like, I mean, I know that we have like yeah, really- Yeah, water, electricity, all that, well, yada, yada. But I know we have like loose <laughs> zoning here. Uh-huh. But, but could you just buy- one of those 6,000 square foot lots and put four and five of these on there? Probably not. I don't you know, stack maybe. them on top of each other, make them not super tall? Not on top. You put them all next to each other and then you Airbnb them. Oh, Who has our city a cracking backyard down on that? that they would just let me like, uh, yeah. stack this bad boy? <sighs> I don't think it's going to okay, be that hold easy. On. Think, Tessa, think. Three things you must see. Rod's backyard. Unboxing a house. I have yard. no backyard. Front yard. Front Unboxing yard. a house. Um, perfect. I bet if I come home and your dumb house is in my driveway. Yeah, what are you going to move it? <laughs> can't move it. What if you want to take a bat? I'll take a, I'll take a bat to his house. Wow. No, no I'll, I'll make sure it's bat proof. All right. Um, <laughs> an unboxing of a house. I thought I'd never say those words. Thank you. Uh, that's on three things you must see. Coming up, we're going to play Hit the Post. You guys play the DJ to win fourth row tickets to APC. Don't go anywhere. I may not be playing golf tomorrow, but I will be at my golf tournament tomorrow. And I am so glad that so many of you will be out there and selling this thing out. I want to thank Carbach for coming on board early, early, early when we were putting this whole deal together. You know, these are the things that we talked about, you know, okay, what are the fun things that we want to do? And to see the look on Carbach's face and say, yeah, we want to be involved in everything. Let's get Love Street plugged in, man. Love Street, man, it's that state of mind and it's, it's, it's what just works for all of these parties that we have planned for you. And I call it a golf tournament. It's a party on a golf course. Carbox Love Street will be flowing. Stay tuned for more, man. Get out and get some Carbox Love Streets, okay? If you need to stock up from the weekend, which I do as well, uh, wherever you buy your beers, man, make it Love Street. Carboxbrewing.com. Love Street Blonde. Music to your beer.
Okay, traffic has stopped on 69 between Lorraine and 288 downtown. I think that's just a backup stop and go traffic there. And then uh, 20 minutes on the Hardy Toll Road between 945 and FM 1960. That's stop and go as well. That's your rec check on 94.5 The Buzz. Ninety-four five the buzz. Good morning, Rod Ryan show. As these two are shopping for homes on Amazon.com. Dude, I know, so I know, affordable. I know. This is not a new thing. Uh, I just got sent a link. There's a house for sale right now. It's outside of Dallas in Salina, Texas. It's available for four hundred and thirty-nine thousand dollars. It was built in nineteen ten, and it's being sold as one of the original Sears and Roebuck homes. You could get a Sears catalog and you could buy a prefab home. They would have everything numbered. They would roll it down the Mississippi River. They'd get it to you and they would build it on your plot. This is one of those homes that you could buy. What did they pay for it back in the day? We're not sure, but as many as 75,000 homes were sold between 1908 and 1940, making this one one of the oldest. Uh, The average price... Less than $1,000 to a little under $3,000. It's a nice home. Like, there's some detail in here. There's crown molding. <laughs> I'm going to have to take a look. <laughs> yeah. All of a sudden, I'm back, I'm back on real estate. Um, Ed Buxton sent that to me. Wow, that's real, That's cool history, bro. I, I I mean, yeah, I guess. Of course you could buy a home out of a, out of a magazine back in the day. And it was a good home, too. I don't know about this junk on Amazon. Uh, that <laughs> Alex, looks nice to me That Alex put a down payment on already Dude, it, the commercial break was six minutes long You own a house already? I'm working on it Yeah, he came in, he goes, Tessa Get out of there Did you order? order it? It? Did you order? Um, what's trending? Okay, this we talked about this already yesterday But it's in the news cycle again today Morgan Wallen, uh, police say he hurled a chair off of a rooftop bar in Nashville Apparently it's been captured on multiple surveillance cameras Yeah, I got videos and all sorts of things on the music okay. blog page today Lots yesterday, of people talking about it a lot Yeah, yesterday we knew about it Today we've got all the footage Okay <laughs> okay, makes sense. Um, Astros already. Uh, Alex already talked about the Astros. They had a really good game. Well, um, they ended up with a W in uh, the, their game versus the Rangers. Didn't start off so hot, but it ended well. So that's what a lot of people locally are talking about. And then uh, lots of opinions on Caitlin Clark. I mean, Caitlin Clark's team was out in their last game, but a lot of people have opinions on uh, whether she should go to the NBA, st- WNBA, stay. Uh, yeah, Ka- Caitlin Clark. Yeah, she's already declared, but people have opinions on it. Uh, she's still in the news cycle heavily. So that's what's trending on 94.5 The Buzz. The funniest comment on Morgan Wallen, because he threw a chair out, uh-huh. off of a balcony. Almost hit cops, too. Dude. Uh, somebody oh. wrote, like my school teacher always said, four on the floor. <laughs> my teachers used to say that. I would always be rocking back on my on my seat, on my uh-huh. chair. Uh-huh. That, was a, that was a school teacher thing. Four on the floor. Four on the floor. Yep. Hey, we have an intro for this game, don't we? We do. Okay. Oh, yeah. Drowning. Yeah, I guess Drowning. I, I got to give you a cool DJ name. Uh, the name of the game is Hit the Post. Thank you, Jingle Blake. Uh, great job over there. On the, on, I think we have a couple intros for this game. We do. Okay, so how does it work? It's a radio term that you guys are all familiar with now called hitting the post. And it's where the DJ dazzles you on, you know, talking in the beginning of a song. And then how do they know to stop right when the singer comes in? All right. right? So it's kind of done like this. Tessa, it's Foo Fighters. It's Learn to Fly. Mm. Okay? Okay. The name of the radio station, 
94.5 The Buzz. Okay, yes. Your name is Tessa. That's right. Three, two, one. Good morning, everybody. Uh, whether you were an Eclipse head or an Eclipse tails yesterday, mm-hmm, I mm-hmm. hope you had a good day. Great. Uh, today, let's make it count. It's Tattoos Day on 94.5 The Buzz. Ah, Not bad. Well, too much good. me. Too good. much me. We do call that either laying up or leaving too much meat on the bone. Too much meat. <sighs> leaving a little meat on the bone there. Uh, 14 seconds is not a lot of time, guys. Get in and get out. So it, I think this one's easier. Is it easier when it's shorter? I, you don't c- I come was up about with... to start a whole new sentence and decided don't <laughs> just don't say it. Well, a funny thing happened to me on the way to the station this morning. <laughs> You're out of time. Wrap up your story. <laughs> you don't have time for a, on, my, on my way to the radio station this morning in the beginning of this Foo Fighter song. Uh, yeah, it's 14 seconds. Uh, I'll give you a radio name. Uh, let's get four people on, Chile. Let's get some people that maybe have never played before. Uh, 713-212-5945 if you think you can hit the post. All right. 94.5 The Buzz. Good morning. Rod Ryan's show. Maybe we should have used that song. That had a 20-second intro, I yeah, think. Yeah, I would have loved that. A little bit, because you could have told whatever. Right. That great, I had a story. You had like a killer story you were going to tell yeah. us. Um, we're getting set up here. We're going to play Hit the Post. <laughs> I don't. It looks like he's lining people up, and then they're maybe they're they're wimping out or something. He had some people locked in. I'm trying to get the names, you know. Don't be scared. And then I see people dropping out 
Come on. If he locks you in, you got to play. I know. It's nerve-wracking. You're going to do great. There's not much... There's not much to. Uh, there's not much post, or there's not much pre-post. Um, hey, we got a forty percent chance of uh, some scattered thunderstorms throughout the day. More rain coming tonight. On the overnight rain, it's coming tomorrow morning. Early rain, and then it's golf tournament time, kids. And uh, and I'm I'm ready. I, I absolutely cannot wait. Okay, um, we are giving away. We're counting down in the first five rows for that a perfect circle show. So yesterday was five. Today is four. How are we going to give those tickets away? All right. So we've got some instructions here, too. This is the only game where Jingle Blake... Made us an instructions jingle. All right. I'm going to play the song. You're going to talk up the intro like you're a pro DJ. All right. And the intro is 14. Jeez, it's only 14 seconds. You don't have a whole lot of time. I don't even know if you have time for a dumb DJ name. Uh, good morning, Rod Ryan Show. Who's this? Do, 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 do. Hello. Good morning. Hey, good morning. Hi, who's this? This is Steven. Steven. Okay, Steven. Have you ever done this before? Good morning. Hi, hi good, morning. good morning. I have not. Okay, you're going to kill it. I can tell already you're going to kill it. I think everybody's going to do well because there's not much. Uh, it's 14 seconds. The song is Foo Fighters Learn to Fly. You are uh, Slippery Steven. Or you want to be Scuba Steve? Want to be Scuba Steve? <laughs> let's do Scuba Steve. Yeah, let's, scuba Steve, let's, yeah, let's go Scuba Steve with okay. you. Okay, so it's Scuba Steve on the radio right now. He's taking my job. It's Foo Fighters. It's Learn to Fly in the Buzz. <sighs> I mean, just what are you going to do? Tell a story? No, you're not. You ready? Nah. Okay. I'm ready. All right, here we go. Everybody, the DJ stylings of Scuba Steve in three, two, one. You're on. Good morning, everyone. This is Scuba Steve over here at the 94.5 The Buzz Studio. Mm -hmm. We got a little bit of rain that's lined up today, but you know what? It's going to be okay. It's still going to be a great day. So make sure you stay tuned. We got a lot of good stories coming up to you here and just after the, after the song. Here we go. Come on. Not, not bad. bad. Not bad. Not bad. Now, I, Alex always... Alex judges this the hardest. I agree. He's by far and away a professional Rod. the hardest judge. Mm -hmm. I thought it was good out of the gate. Scuba Steve. Are you for scuba? After that, I'm for scuba. I think I'm for scuba now, too. Uh, let's say good morning to Dangerous Dustin. Dangerous Dustin! You know what? I like Dustin Danger better. Dustin! Maybe he can't hear me. Hey, uh, Dustin Danger, good morning. Hey, good morning, Rod. I got you now. There you are. All right. Uh, hey, Dustin Danger, you are going to try to hit the post. Foo Fighters learn to fly 14 seconds. This is easy. This is easy today. Um, yeah, Dustin Danger, are you ready? Let's roll. Yeah. I can tell this guy's going to do good. Okay. okay. All right, here we go. Uh, the DJ stylings of Dustin Danger in three. Oh, look at Alex. I'm telling you. Zero in. He's like the Simon Cowell of this He's game. He's so zeroed in on I this hate. game. All right. <laughs> Dustin Danger in three, two, one. You're on. Good morning, Buzz Nation. This is Dangerous Dustin on your ones and twos. Coming at you on this ugly Tuesday, but you know what? We're following an eclipse. Astro's got a win, and we got some Foo Fighters on 94 Five. Oh, he just stepped on it at the end there. I, I now listen. Are you going to crap on him because his phone was crappy? Uh, no, no, I will not. Wow. But I mean, if it's a tiebreaker, then you know that's going to affect it. Wow. If somebody matches that intensity, then without that could a spotty be phone, a deal breaker. Right. He stepped right. on. The, he stepped on the lyrics. I did. I he did stepped on the lyrics there. In the end. I didn't want to say anything. 
I didn't notice that. Dustin Danger, Dangerous Dustin. Okay. Um, okay. Uh, next up. I mean, I don't know if we've ever done this before. Mike. Yes. Ruffone. I was going to say Mike on the mic. Mike Ruffone. It's Mike Mike Mike, Mike, Mike Raffone. Mike Raffone. Oh, Mike. That. That's me. Yeah. It's Mike Raffone. Uh, <laughs> that's a first. Um, you ready to hit the post here? Have you heard some of these other chuckleheads? I have. I have. You're better than them, I right? I can take them. Your name oh, is absolutely. Your name is Mike. My name is Mike Raffone. Raffone. I was this game. Okay. Yes. Everybody. Yes. Uh, this is the DJ stylings of Mike Raffone <laughs> in three, two, one. Good morning. This is DJ Mike Raffone. I tell you what, the eclipse is over, so go back to work. If you're in the fast lane, driving slow, get out. And if you're afraid of the rain, stay inside. Here's the Foo Fighters on the bus. Story time. <laughs> All right. I mean, the best name. The best energy. The best name. Best energy, too. I like that. Yeah, there's lots oh, of energy. Lots of energy there. <laughs> Raffone. <laughs> Yo, uh, excuse me, Mr. Raffone, wrap it up. Yeah. Raffone. Raffone. <laughs> Zip it. <laughs> that was funny. I love this game. I, this is a fun game. I absolutely love this game. I feel like we should do the opposite. We should do like a song with a 30 second intro. Let's and no, then, do like a tool song where it's it's two and a half minutes it's before a dissertation. they say anything. And really let them get in trouble telling stories. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> we give them a topic they just have to go off on. All right. Uh, this is the last guy. All right. We've heard from uh, Scuba Steve. We've heard of. It was I, he couldn't decide if it was dangerous Dustin or Dustin Danger. We've heard of Mike. Ruff, we heard from Mike Ruffone. Yeah, we did. And, and now we got Josh Gold. I mean, that's just his name. I, I don't think you can even make that better. Josh, good morning. Good morning, brother Rock. Hey, dude, how are you today? I am awesome. How are you? I'm great. So uh, you've had the benefit of hearing everybody. So I grade you way more difficult. I, I grade you harder than the other celebrities that have been on with us. So you have to shine, but your name is Josh Gold. I mean, yeah, that's so true. Gold does shine. I, I'm expecting I'm expecting nothing short of greatness out of you today. The <laughs> intro is 14 seconds. The band is Foo Fighters. The song is Learn to Fly. The radio station is 94.5 The Buzz. Josh Gold, do you need anything else in your arsenal to, to do this? Let's do this. Let's do this. He's going to crush it. Coming down, the great... Josh Gold in three, two, one. Good morning, Houston. This is Josh Gold on the Golden Mic, and you are listening to Rod Ryan Show on 94.5 The Buzz. Let's get this rain out of the way and do the great day. It's the Foo Fighters on The Buzz. Okay. Have it. I liked it. Okay. Okay. Really, really good. Really good, Josh Gold. Yep. He's the only guy that didn't get a fake name. Guys, I'm in trouble here. This is a tough one. I'm in trouble. This is a close call. I, I, okay. Dang. I'm in trouble, but I do have I do have a winner. I Wait, have. before we go, can I ask you guys a professional question? Sure. What is worse, leaving too much meat on the bone or stepping on the lyrics? Always stepping on the lyrics. Okay. It's, it's, it's a post. It's an absolute killer. But you there, step over it, you don't win in my books. Really? Unless everybody were to step over it. Okay. And then who who stepped worst? And then yeah, right. then okay. it's who I've read the shortest time. I've okay. Done. Okay. Thank you so, for bringing that up. All right. Well, then you by you saying that, does anybody best best name ever on the game? <laughs> does anybody have Mike Raffone as their winner today? Well, not now. <laughs> oh God, I wish, I, lot, I wish I wish I did. You? <laughs> I just thought he had the best energy. He did, but he that's didn't why do I the, had to double check. The no. point of the game is hit the post. I, that's why over. I double checked the rules, Alex. Jeez, well, you are so you strict. Making sure that you're following it you're along insane. the rules. You're insane, Mr. Raffone. You're done. <laughs> I'm sorry, Mr. Raffone. Mr. Raffone. <laughs> it does sound French. Yeah, <laughs> that's how you would spell it. <laughs> um, We're like, ha <laughs> ha. I'm gonna throw out another one here. I'm gonna throw out another one. Does anybody have dangerous Dustin or Dustin Danger? 
Does anybody have him as their winner? <sighs> no, I do not, unfortunately. Tessa? I sigh because, no, I don't. I think if his phone wasn't so spotty, like, damn. Didn't do him favors. Yeah, yeah like. Didn't do him any favors. I think he had, he was working against a lot, but no, I do not have Dustin Danger. I don't have Dangerous Dustin or Indeed. Dustin Danger <laughs> right. on my winning card. Um, all right, Rafone, Danger, out. So what we're left with is Scuba Steve, who went first. Right. And would be the wizard's pick. <laughs> Obviously. Who's always for scuba. And then there's Josh, who went last. Josh Gold, who got to use his real name. Um, Alex, who do you have as your winner? I had, by a half a point, <laughs> Steven as the winner. <gasps> scuba Steve. Scuba Steve as the winner. Tessa, who do you have? As your winner, Rafone is out. Rafone. Scuba Steve or Josh Gold. Who did you have as your winner? So, in spite of me really following Alex's lead on this, I actually have Josh Gold as my winner. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> sorry, Alex. Sorry. 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 I'm, sorry. I'm sorry. Listen, I am very comfortable. He didn't step on anything. That no, he didn't. Fine pick. No, he that didn't. was a fine pick. I am very comfortable with my role here. Destroying one and putting a crown on another. <laughs> I'm very comfortable no. with this role. You were meant for this. A point five separates the two. Wow. Oh. A point five. I think you said the same. Yeah. I have a point a five. A point. I gave Josh Gold a seven point five. Okay. Ooh. Scuba Steve received. An eight from me. Oh! The Scoob Man! Scoob! The Scoob Man! The Scoobs! Scuba Doo! What? <laughs> You're the winner, dude! Scuba Doo, where are you? All right. Let's see if I can break out a gold up on the back in middle school. Scoob is still fit, huh? What? Wait, what is, what is Scoob? Wait. Wait a minute. No, I know it was great, whatever it was. Scuba Steve, tell us again. We were all just, I don't know, trapped in our own Celebrating? Locking. Yeah, what were you doing? I said, let's see if I still got that old A Perfect Circle t-shirt from back in middle school and see if it still fits. Oh, very good. Listen, I thought you did a great job today. Um, and, and Josh did a great job. It was .5 between you two. Uh, Scuba Steve, what has he won? Dude, you get a pair of tickets in the fourth row of A Perfect Circle, Piss Fur, and Primus all on one stage. Congratulations. You win Hit the Post. Thank you very much. Scuba Steve, dig out that T-shirt, man, because Maynard will see you in the fourth row.
Heads up on the west side, I-10 Katy Freeway westbound at Silburn Accents, blocking two left lanes and a left shoulder, so some traffic from Studemont to deal with. Then all morning over on the north side, this accident involving an overturned vehicle has shut down the HOV lane. So you have I-45 North Freeway southbound at Rankin. There's just big delays in the area. That's your rec check on 94.5 The Buzz. Shout out Scuba Steve. That was the song that he dominated. Hit the post with today. Good morning, Rod Ryan show on this Tat Tuesday. 94.5 The Buzz. All right, we got to get right after it.
Uh, Tessa, one final time today, if we can get Houston's headlines. Yeah, well, there was plenty of news surrounding the big eclipse yesterday, including Google searches for my eyes hurt skyrocketing right after it happened. Uh, there's a new kid in town over in Mansfield, Texas. Her name is Sol. She was born during the total solar eclipse. She has a four-year-old sister named Luna, which means moon. And if you didn't know, Sol uh, means sun in, in uh English. Uh, yesterday's total solar eclipse is over and there won't be another one until 2044. Millions traveled to the path of totality that spanned from here in Texas up through a dozen states before ending in Maine. So a lot of people just took a moment out of the day to witness this event because it is a rare cosmic event. The moon temporarily blocked the sun and now we got to wait until the next one. With legislators back in session after a break, one leading Republican in the Senate went on the record backing the House's proposed bill targeting TikTok. Senator Minority Leader Mitch McConnell spoke from the Senate floor yesterday and said that the social media app is a pressing threat against Americans. There's a lot of talk about how divided America is and how divisive things are, but that may be changing according to the sausage peeps. The Johnsonville Sausage Company recently conducted a survey on American attitudes and 80 percent of adults say they're sick and tired of the angry and negativity in in America. Eighty nine percent say they want less negativity in news and social media. And it's led us to feeling, um, you know, less connected. Sixty percent of adults say having fun with people has gotten harder. Eighty uh, percent say there are people in their lives that they really want to reconnect with, even if they disagree on some bigger issues. And that can happen. So this is where the sausage people really pull it back to, you know, food. 91% of adults say they don't have to agree on everything in order to enjoy a nice meal together. Food, sausage, the key to us coming back, uniting as one country. Is any other news organization using the sausage report or just us? Well, it's Are early. we the only ones? At, at 9 a.m., I'm pretty sure it's just us right now. But you wait. <laughs> you wait. Where do we get all our polling from? Uh, The sausage industry of America? Sausage. That's what the poll on Polish sausage is. It's for polls. Oh, I didn't know that. Okay, uh, Britney Spears is obviously not in any hurry to restart her musical career. But at some point, people are like, is she ever going to try to make some money? Um, I think she has enough. That's just my personal opinion inserted. But in this article, um, this so-called OnlyFans manager named Celeste Franklin believes that Britney could bank $100 million a year on the platform. I mean, she's already, I will say, getting, you know, basically nude on the internet. She, she is nude. She posts, yeah, nude pictures with little emo- emojis covering well, yeah, her the, bits. The bits are b- blocked out. Anyway, this uh, this OnlyFans manager says uh, Britney could make 13 to 18 million in her first month and then level off to about 6 million to 9 million per month. Insiders say Britney has no interest in doing OnlyFans, so I don't know that's going to happen. Does K-Fed have the kids? I believe so. I believe they're with him. Yeah, so I don't know if, she, if that's something that she's actively working on getting the kids back or whatever. OnlyFans is not going to help. Yeah, no. So well, maybe that's I, one of the reasons that she doesn't want to do it. But she does all the other stuff on her on yeah. her. I know socials. I know. That's probably got to be really hard on her sons, and even if they don't say so. Hey, uh, when Eddie Van Halen died, he was surrounded by his ex-wife, Valerie Bertinelli, and their son, Wolfgang. And then he was also, um, Eddie's brother, Alex, was also there. Alex has two sons that were there. And then uh, they all ordered pizza after he passed away. Valerie says, I forget who suggested it, but we were like, should we have pizza? Because Eddie couldn't eat, and the last thing he really wanted was some za. She says he loved pizza and burritos, so we had pizza in his hospital room. Is that weird? I hope people don't think that's morbid. I think she knows it's a little weird because otherwise, why would she throw it? I hope people don't think that's morbid. <laughs> it's a little. I don't know if it's morbid. It's just um. She's weird. Time on the and internet. place. Time and place. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. All I know is that those are Houston headlines. And then today's post because I do follow her, Wolfie's mom. Yeah. Well, you guys are like pals, aren't you? We are. So today's supposed to be like, uh, uh, I can't believe I, I took so much backlash on the internet for, for eating pizza on Eddie's dead body. She does that. She reacts to people and she does these crazy things. Like Wolfie snaps back at people too. He gets, it from, he gets it. He gets it from his yeah. mom. Yeah. His mom goes head to head with people on the internet. What a great idea. They need to eat some Ugh. sausage. Who has time?
All right, what's going on? Well, for the second straight year, the UConn Huskies are the champions of the men's college basketball world. They beat Purdue 75-60 to last night in the national championship game, and they're the first back-to-back champions since Florida did it in 2006 and 2007. In the NBA, the Rockets are going to be back in action tonight. They're going to host the Orlando Magic over at the Toyota Center. Tip-offs at 7, and you can listen to it on our sister station, News Radio 740 KTRH. In baseball, the Astros got a win last night. They came back to beat the Rangers 10-5 to to split their four-game series. Jordan Alvarez and Victor Caratini both homered in the game for the Astros. Tonight, they're going to open up a three-game series with the Royals. Christian Javier is going to be on the mound for the Astros going up against Kansas City's Cole Raggins. First pitch is at 640. You can hear the game on our sister station, Sports Talk 790. That is what's going on in sports. Okay, you hear me talk about it all the time. QC Kinetics, the future of medicine is here at QC Kinetics. QC is the nation's leader in the most exciting revolution in pain management that we've seen in decades, regenerative medicine. We're talking about natural biologics, using your body's own power to repair and restore damaged joint tissue. You got hip pain, elbow, shoulders, knees. Okay, that's a lot of you right now. You're tired of those achy joints. If your joint pain is keeping you from doing what you love, you need to call QC Kinetics now, the nation's leader. Surgery, steroids, drugs, those are no longer your best options. Regenerative medicine at QC Kinetics is transforming lives with innovative treatments that deliver lasting results. Dr. Sheinkup, he's a pioneer in this field with 20 years of clinical work, tons of research, teaching, publishing, okay? He's the national medical director. He wants to get your relief with a needle and not a knife. Call QC Kinetics now and learn more about some of these exciting options. It's a free consultation, 713-913-5285, 713-913-5285. 713-913-5285. There's an accident blocking two left lanes and a left shoulder on I-10 Katy Freeway westbound at Silver. This is stop traffic from Studemont. Big delay over in the west side area. Over on the northwest side, 610 West Loop southbound between 290 and Richmond. There's some stop and go traffic. This is going to delay you 20 minutes. That's your rec check on 94.5 The Buzz.
94.5 The Buzz. Good morning. Rod Ryan Show. The guy won something from us today uh, on the program. And he said he had one concert shirt, and it was Nirvana. Yeah. Or it, it wasn't a concert shirt. I didn't get that clarification. Uh, I don't think a whole lot. Of, does anybody listening have a – is anybody listening saw did, – did you see Nirvana live in concert? You don't run into a lot of people that right. saw them live. Uh, I mean, they just had such a short window when they were playing. And most people, if they did see them, it was probably at a club uh, before they got big. Once they got big, then it was kind of hard to see them. Um I did some stuff overseas, and that was it. I never saw them live. So I'm assuming that the dude with the one Nirvana shirt was some sort of a, you know, Target deal. Probably. <laughs> you can see those at Target and Walmart. Uh, 40% chance of scattered storms throughout the day. Rain tonight, and then I just got a thing. Not that I ever thought anything different, but we are a go for our golf tournament tomorrow. I know we're going to get some rain tonight, but... Uh, we're going to be just fine. We've been talking a lot about concert T-shirts, and uh, this is a good email. She she did she gave me the rundown. She got six Foo Fighter shirts. Oh, okay. Okay, Stacy, I think sent me this email. I have nineteen concert shirts. Um, Depeche Mode three, Country Guy Gary Allen five, Foo okay. Fighters six, nice. Taylor Hawkins Memorial Concert add one. Wow. Got four hoodies and a jacket. She's got one twenty-one pilots. She's got a Fleetwood Mac, and she's got a Lilith Fair from twenty some years ago. That's cool. <laughs> Vintage, uh, Stacy. That's a pretty good lineup uh, of T-shirts that you have over there. Um, let's see, Foo Fighters, <sighs> six, seven Foo Fighter shirts, maybe. Yeah. I gotta have seven Motorhead shirts. I'm going to say like, I got... Just in case you go somewhere I don't know. for a week and I don't, you only want to wear Motorhead. Yeah, if I, if, if I need a Motorhead all day, all the time, right. uh, I could do... I could do a week of Motorhead. I could do a week of Foo Fighters. I could do a week of ACDC. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I have two ACDC shirts. You got two. Is, yeah, is that the only one you got doubles? concerts. Is that yeah. the only one you got a double down of? I have, have, no, I have like a couple of Taylor Swift. How many um, Selena shirts? Um, I have like three Selena shirts. Uh-huh. And Who then, has more Selena shirts, you or Chile? I, I think we're probably tied. You think he's got yeah. three? I think he at least has two. Hey, man. How many Selena shirts you got over there? Oh, I have four. You have four yeah. Selena oh, shirts? I have a hoodie. I have a hoodie. He has more Cheech and Chong shirts yeah. than anybody on the planet. I know that. Hey, Chile. Wait, there you are. Hey, how many Selena shirts do you have? I think I have four of them, too. Okay. Four Selena shirts. Oh. Yeah. See, I knew we were tied. You're tied. Um... The question on the X today, which we've had a really good turnout, and people are talking about it. That's cool. I like the poll questions where we get a ton of people interacting with us, but then they're also commenting and talking about the shirts that they have. How about, about how many band musician T-shirts do you currently own? 40% of our audience, less than five. 20% uh, of our audience has none. 18% of our audience has 6 to 10. Another 20% have over 10. This is what you said something earlier today, and I looked it up, and it is true. How is how is Olivia Rodrigo selling more T-shirts than Taylor Swift? That seems impossible to me. Right. But they say, according, the most popular music artist T-shirt in America right now is Olivia Rodrigo, who is huge. But nobody's Taylor huge. Nobody's uh, Beyonce huge. Right. She's got, unless she just so she has a ton so of merch. She, I don't know. Well, does she have like a merch deal? Because she, I think you can get Olivia Rodrigo shirts like in Target and stuff like that. I love her. So do I. I love her. I love, I, the, well, I love this song. How well, about that? I discovered her. And and you passed this one along. This is a little gem. Oh, driver's license. I like all this stuff. You like all of it. I do. I really do. I, I think she's great. Uh, metal fans have the most shirts. Metal fans have an average of 10. Overall, if you have concert shirts, the average is six. Um, our average is less than five. Mm. Less than five. What band do you have the most of, Alex? A, mu a music radio station poll question. The average is less than the national average. Interesting. On our poll question. So maybe we got to ask the sausage guys to run this one. Please. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I think I have three Avid Brothers shirts. Okay. I'd wear an Olivia Rodrigo shirt. 
I almost bought one last week. You did? It's okay, but where? Your but where? On our website. Oh, he went directly to the <laughs> wait, wait, store. Wait. Are you a fan? I love Olivia Rodrigo. There, I think that's it. I think you found your answer. I think dudes like her too. Are you messing with me? No, uh, because I said it. I love no, her. No, this isn't even her best song. Well, no. no, this is what got her in. This is what I brought her to the dance. Get so. him back. That one is the best one. Oh, I love her. Play it. We have to have all of the Olivias. <laughs> I could just. Can we just listen to her all day? I don't <laughs> think Wizard would approve of that, but. Let me see what Alex. How do we not is the have that one in oh, there? See. Get Never him mind. back is the best one. Get Nobody wants to hear your deep cuts. That Dude, is not you a deep, are cut. A deep it's cut. It's, cut. it's the biggest single she has this is a, right now. This is the B side on her. This European. was just the first one. Right. This is her in Rio de Janeiro. Oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> Can you're we a get vampire. You know what? You're being a vampire right now. <laughs> oh, good one. Real ones now. <laughs> good one. My Rodrigue heads now. I didn't know that Alex and I both. You're love... Rodrigue Ho. I didn't know that we were Rodrigo. I would be a Rodrigo all day. What are you giving away? I have. Asking Alexandria. Asking Alexandria. Oh, House like of a, Blues. Like a band that is in our format? Yeah. <laughs> All right, I'll take caller number 10. Uh, you got to be down. I think they're uh, playing on Saturday at the House of Blues. All right. What's up? It's your brother, Rod, talking about Red Mountain weight loss and their uh, revolutionary weight loss medication called Revelex. Uh, semaglutide is the main ingredient in Revelex. That's what's getting all the headlines right now. It's FDA approved for weight loss. It's working. There's a lot of things on the market right now. Everyone's coming at you, included Red Mountain Weight Loss with their latest and greatest. Now, semaglutide, like I said, is the main ingredient in Revelex. What else? Well, you're not going to have to give yourself a shot. So you got to look into that. This is a full strength daily tablet and it's half the price of the other semaglutide meds out there. You're losing up to 15 pounds per month and you're paying half of what the other semaglutide meds are asking you for. It's in stock right now at Red Mountain Weight Loss. So there's no waiting to fill your prescription. There are no back orders. Schedule your appointment and get started on Revelex today. It's available only by prescription and you can only get it at Red Mountain Weight Loss. Schedule that appointment now. It's easy. Okay, dial pound 250 from the phone, keyword Red Mountain Weight Loss. Pound 250, keyword Red Mountain Weight Loss.
an on-ramp is partially blocked on 288 South, the South Freeway northbound at Almeda, Genoa. Uh, there is stop traffic on 69 between Lorraine and 288 downtown. And then I-10, that accident temporarily blocking all the main lanes between Silver and Chimney Rock going westbound. So you got some traffic from Houston Avenue to deal with. That's your rec check on 94.5 The Buzz. Ninety-four five, the buzz. Good morning, Rod Ryan Show. Where is this guy? Good morning, everybody. Hi, let's go to the phones here. Hello. Hey, what's going on, man? What's up? Who's this? That's Dustin. Simply (laughs) Dustin. Uh, Your caller number ten. Awesome. What are you giving this guy? You know what? I'm going to give this guy a pair of tickets to see Asking Alexandria at the House of Blues. Congratulations. I right, appreciate it. Appreciate it, y'all. Appreciate you, dude, man. Thank you so much for listening. Uh, have an awesome day. Have a great time at that show Saturday. Hey, y- y'all do the same. Thanks. Thank you, Dustin. What a nice guy. Uh, Jesse Handley. Normally, I'm happy for people. I don't know why I get so jealous about this. He saw Nirvana here in Houston. Well, it's because that's not something that's on the table but, anymore. But I gas everyone up. And there's, I, you do. and there's just something about this that I, it's just absolute jealousy that uh, he said, Rod, I saw Nirvana at the Vatican in 1991, little place on Washington. Uh, I don't know how many of you guys remember the Vatican. I was in there long after it was a club, uh, a high end stereo place bought it. Mm. And then we did something with our friends Lost Element there. or We did like a little mini show there or something. He saw Nirvana. I did a quick search of the Vatican. He saw him in 91. STP played there in 92. Helmet, White Zombie, Mr. Bungle, Ice T with Body Count, Butthole Surfers, Pantera, Nirvana. Jesus. That place mm-hmm. was amazing. For about <laughs> Sounds a, like it. For about two years, the Vatican was getting in all these bands. I heard a rumor. I didn't see it on here. I heard a rumor Guns N' Roses played there, too. Wow. But, but it's confirmed Nirvana played at a tiny little club on Washington. I think it's on Washington. Damn it. He's, oh, and he said, he goes, I had no idea what I was seeing. Yeah. Before, this was before. Yeah. You know, 91. It was like, he's like, I didn't know what I was seeing. I just went to go see this punk band. Wow, that's awesome. Jealous. What you got? I got a little game for you to kill some time today at work. I was kind of scrolling through trying to find what I was going to use for AOL today, and this game came back. Uh huh. Line Rider, remember that? No. You had to draw lines. The little sled guy goes down it, and you basically build where he can go down. Oh, the, the that's sled. old school. Yeah, this is like one of the, like the OG like flash games. Yes. And um, yeah, it's pretty pretty addicting. So Tessa, check this out. Right? You okay. put your little sled guy right there. I drew all these lines. <laughs> Watch this guy. He's going down. He's going down. Shredding. Up, up. He's sliding. He's oh. sliding. He's carving. He's sliding. Look at him. Look at that guy. Oh, but- He's just having the best time ever. Well, I finished. I didn't yeah, have time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But he, yeah, he really caught building. air on some of but those. He caught some air. So go check it out. Draw some lines. Watch your dude surf on these lines. You're going to love it. Line Rider. Welcome <laughs> to Rob Ryan Show page at thebuzz.com.
94.5 The Buzz. Good morning, Rod Ryan's show. That's Finger Eleven. They're on that sold-out Creed tour. Who did we say was the other band? I think Tonic is doing some of the shows. And then Finger Eleven. They're splitting. But Three Doors Down is on all the shows. Yes. So, yeah. And I, listen, I, I know you love Tonic. I love them, too. I do. Um, but Finger Eleven. I need a Tonic so shirt. A ton- you, yeah. <laughs> That's the thing about Why it. Why do I have a Tonic shirt? It's, 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 it's two clicks away. <gasps> it just hit me. What? What? This should be done off the air. No. It should be done no. off the air. Share with the class. I think you bought something on my credit card. What? You're like, How? And I finally figured it out. How? You must have purchased something through Instagram. Like you saw something on Instagram, like an ad, and somehow it drew into there and you maybe were signed up to the Rod Ryan Show what account. Did I, what did I buy? I don't know, but I just bought something and I didn't realize that it was going through Instagram. <laughs> and then I saw your dumb address in okay, there. Okay, okay, but I want to know what it was. And How it was, do I go to purchases? Y- well, yeah, because she wants to do it more. I know. I'm like, how exactly did I do it? <laughs> that I'm going to have to dig around. But I, I'm saying. I have bought something on Instagram. And I'm saying that I paid for it. Maybe it was my still tipping shirt. More than once. Because I bought. <laughs> I, 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 full disclosure, I've probably bought two things from Instagram. And you're probably thinking like that's. And you're- you're probably clicking, clicking, clicking really quick. Well, yeah, I just use my Apple Pay. Like, whatever card it's connected to, that's what I use. But it was through Instagram, and you may have been signed and into so the Rod Ryan Show account, and I, I own that account. No, I don't think so. I'm I'd t- like to purchase no, no, no. a few when things I shop, when, I, when I shop, it's like it's not coming up on Rod Ryan Show. I don't ever – the only time you, I, paid I for ever something. log in through RRS yeah. is to – Post a picture, and then I immediately get back. Like, I'm not cruising on RRS. I just bought something, and I, I it's, it's a weird impulse buy for me, but I went, and I had oh. forgotten about it. I had forgotten about it because I was, like, trying to track what is this weird what is this weird charge. Oh. And then when I bought something just recently, like a dumb shirt like I don't need, uh-huh. your address came up. Nice. And there was, uh, this is scary, and there was other information. Your phone number, I believe. Yeah, well, we all share, I mean, we trust each other to share that account. Yeah. Go to the live accounts tab, select the account you'd like to view yeah. history from. So I, I don't remember what it was, and I don't care. But oh, you I, don't I, care, I, huh? But I noticed, well, I do care moving forward. <laughs> <laughs> well, orders and payments, here we go. Yeah, I'm getting a shark tank put in my house. Thanks, Rod. <laughs> I bought it on Instagram <laughs> with great whites. Hmm. I got a cool email here. Okay, tell me. Annie. Uh, I, the reason why I'm taking so much time with this because she said, I'm finally sitting down to email you because I never seem to find the time. Uh-huh. By now, a bunch of topics have already built up on the show, and I've always wanted to respond, so I'm finally going to do this. And I, and I like the fact that she's finally emailing in and, and taking the time. She said, first, I wanted to say I have one concert T-shirt. After wearing them, and this is a big story with a lot of people. We've been talking a lot of concert t-shirts and band t-shirts today on the show. That's our poll question. She said, after wearing them all through high school, I purged my closet and I dressed for my career as a teacher. But I just bought my first concert t-shirt in a very long time this past October. Went to the Depeche Mode concert. Caused me to fall off the wagon. And now I'm back into the band t-shirt game. Yeah. I I can't tell you how many people said that is not a part of their life anymore. It's weird that that because I get it, you know, you don't do drugs or something. Who who gives up band t-shirts? People, people that listen to this show. Yeah. I also want to thank you for being a big part of my birthday this year. Driving to work last week, you mentioned the Foo Fighters are playing Jazz Fest on May 3rd. Well, guess what? May 3rd is my birthday. Foo Fighters, one of my favorite bands. I had a why not moment, purchased tickets the moment I got to work. Now I'll be celebrating my, my birthday, eating crawfish beignets, and watching what I know will be an amazing show. And, of course, buying a T-shirt. <laughs> She's not done. She's just catching up. She's catching up. She's never emailed before. So I got to take the time here. That's good. I'm glad. I, I think we sell a lot of Jazz Fest shirts, or we sell a lot of Jazz Fest tickets on this show. Uh, I've never been comped once. Mm. Not even once. Damn. Nope. If you can't get comp. What are the? There's no hope for us, Alex. No, nope. I go there as a citizen. Lastly, there was a discussion on the show regarding cursing and being able to turn it on and off when you guys are on the radio. As a teacher, I have to do the exact same thing. At home with friends, I'm a sailor. 
But it's amazing how my filter naturally turns on when I'm with my students. 20 years in the classroom, Alex, and she has yet to slip up even once. Unlike you, Alex. Catch on. Was Who was the last one to swear on the radio on this show? Was it? Of course it was. I don't even remember, honestly. I remember mine. I've had one, and it was You've when Chili. A couple. No, I hate talking I, about it. I hate discussing it. But go ahead. Was, when Chili gets a word like right away in in uh, read my lips, and I said O oh, S. Okay, I or remember that. F. Like I, I said one of the two, mm-hmm. and I remember, and I go, oh, I, I immediately, I said, oh, I cussed. You gotta, you gotta drop. You yes. gotta drop it. And I, I was, he shocked the world, and I was in real time shocked. Alex is the last one that swore, or did I? Alex, I, I remember you, you it, being you. I feel like it was here in the, the latest in one, one in this studio was Alex, and that's and I don't have the context for it. I do remember like the, there was one with Dinah, and I said I don't effing know, and I got I, I was, like she was she was baiting me, and she got me, and I was like I don't effing know, and I was like, oh I'm sorry I'm sorry dump 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 dump. dump. <laughs> it's a it's a it's a weird thing for me to talk about out loud because. It's we're manifesting it or something. It's gonna happen. You're like giving it power. She has never. Next ten minutes. I wonder. This is this is a great question. I know we have a ton of teachers. They're all in class now. I'll bring this up early, on on a show. Whether we have time tomorrow or this week, teachers, have you slipped up? There's no dump button in front of live students. When we swear, we can hit the dump button. You're in front of 25 kids in the room. I don't remember any of my teachers ever swearing. But, I, but we swear in our regular lives. Yeah. She's saying that she does too. Yeah. Go, go back to back to Annie's email. Um, it just naturally turns it turns off when I'm with my students. Twenty years in the classroom, and I'm still yet to let one slip. Maybe what a the good day example. she said, maybe the day I retire, I'll go out cursing in a blaze of glory. <laughs> <laughs> she says, no. thanks for everything that you and the team do for our community and for keeping me company on my drive to work in the morning. Have a great day, Annie. Uh, I'm, we're going to have to ask that question early. Teachers listen on their way in. Right. We would have to, homeroom's tough. Uh, we would have to cover that early. It'd be funny to hear from teachers. You can't take that back. It's out there for the world. There's no dump button in front, right. of, in front of kids. Absolutely. They're what do you gaslight do? Him, gaslight them and tell them you didn't say that. Just deny, yeah, deny, like, deny. Did that you believe a six-year-old? So I had a coach yeah, right. oh, who man. was probably, honestly, probably one of the best human beings I ever met. Never cussed. Always taught us about, like, getting to places early. Yeah. Like, really, just a model citizen of a man, okay? And Like me? J- right. Exactly. That's what, right. That's what I was thinking. Is, a lot like me. And, and he never, ever cussed. If he heard us, I mean, we were, I mean, he had us in line. You're late. You run laps. You, you've get a C you run my, I mean, he just had us in line and we were about to play this team. And I think he thought we were going to lose. And I think to fire us up, he gets in the circle and he gets real quiet and he goes, Hey, when we go out there, he goes, let's kick their ass. Us hearing him say the word ass. We were like, yeah. Oh my God, we're going to win. Like, he saved it. He, for the we, right went moment. Out, we went out there and we destroyed that team. I mean, he, him saying ASS got us so fired up because he never, ever cussed. That was the one time. And you're right. He saved it. He knew exactly what he was doing. Yeah. I, there was a guy on his way out of New Orleans. He was a sports guy. God, I can't remember his name. I was tight with him. He came in on his last day in in New Orleans. He came on the morning show, and I said, okay, dude, you're done, right? You're done. Like, Tonight's your last show. Simply do it. Like, at what point during your sports broadcast are you going to tell everybody to F you? <laughs> like, at what point right, right. are you going to say F you on the, on the TV? What do you, you already got the job lined up. He was going to Dallas or something. And uh, say anything there. And I said, uh, <laughs> he goes, all right. He goes, I'll do it. I'm thinking that he's just trying to get people to watch his last broadcast. <laughs> so he was on the five o'clock and, you know, we told, I said, what time is your sports? He said like at 520, he was going to be on. And I know a ton of people tuned in. So as he's saying, this is my last sports cast. I want to thank you guys. And it has been nothing shy of capital F U N here in New Orleans. <laughs> and I'm like, oh, That's all good. right. That's all good. right. I'm like, he did it. <laughs> He did. And I didn't even think of an out or an option, but he found that and he said, okay, I promise you, I will. I will give a F you to the city. The workaround. When I'm I like leaving. It. And I'm like, wow, that was very clever of him. All right. <laughs> I'm going to enjoy teacher stories swearing in front of kids. I have a kid in school. 
I would find it funny if my if the teacher oh, slipped yeah. up. Like, I, it's funny. Of course, you'll never forget it as a kid. You'd be like, hey, remember when Mr. Mita said this? Did, you guys don't remember <laughs> the teacher's lounge and teacher's smoking and stuff. Oh, I do. I, I remember the teacher's time. lounge smoking now. Yeah, teachers would smoke. I'd smoke like, with What them. is the teacher's lounge? What are they doing in I there? I mean, teachers were these mythical creatures. Yeah. I remember running into like a teacher at the grocery store when I was a kid. I'm like, oh, you shop here? You, you, you need groceries? What, you, what? I just assumed you went to you some- live at school. Bat cave, you know, <laughs> that you went out in and out of for school. Yeah, you don't live to teach me. Yeah, seeing a teacher in the <laughs> wild was crazy when you were a kid, man. Um, <laughs> we got to take a break. What are you giving away? I on have the show? left a pair of the 30 Seconds to Mars tickets. This is with AFI at Woodlands Pavilion. Tickets are on sale now at Ticketmaster.com. But if you know the show, you'll get a pair from us. Okay. Uh, we'll take a short break and we'll come back. And then we'll have a question for you to win the tickets before we get out. Yo, what's up? It's your brother Rod talking about Serta Pro Painters. Residential, commercial, interior, exterior. There's nothing these guys can't paint, okay? Fences. They did all the wrought iron. Oh, what a pain that had to be. They did it, and they did a great job, and I bring them back time after time after time for every painting job that I need. Each Serta Pro painter business independently owned and operated. Why is that important? Well, because they're in our community. When it comes to the exterior of your house and what you need, boy, they're going to help you out a lot. They know what we need, okay? Serta Pro painters, get the power of pro on your side. Schedule your free estimate at SertaPro.com. That's Serta with a C, official painting partner of our Houston Astros.
Two left lanes are blocked by an accident on I-45 southbound at the North Loop. Traffic has stopped from Tidwell. It's backed you up about 25 minutes this morning. Uh, the emergency road work still going on in the spring area. I-45 North Freeway southbound at Luetta. Three right lanes are closed. This expansion joint of the overpass was sticking out of a lane causing flat tires. That's your rec check on 94.5 The Buzz. Ninety-four and five, the buzz. Welcome back, Rod Ryan Show. All right, I got to read one more. Okay, please. I have to read another email. Please. It's a teacher. <laughs> no names. Okay. Now she's in class. Okay. She's listening on. A, she has an earbud in. <laughs> I love that. Best kind of teacher. <laughs> Rod. I feel like I got to read it like this. Rod, I'm listening to you with an earbud in my ear right now. Don't say my name on the air. <laughs> All right, I'm just going to read it. Hey, we're uh, not. Okay, go. Uh, don't say my name, LOL. I've only been in the classroom for 13 years. I've taught first, fourth, fifth, and now second. The only time I've ever cussed was one year teaching fifth grade. I had this whiny-ass kid, <laughs> and I told him to cut the crap, dry up, do your work. <laughs> <laughs> cut the crap. Cut the crap. You little jerk. Mom, was that my you mom did teaching? you little jerk. She said, cut the crap. Dry up. Do your work. He looked at me so shocked. Never gave me another issue again. As a matter of fact, none of them did. Nice. <laughs> I love it. See, you got to put, yeah, you got to lay down the, the hammer sometimes. The fear of God. Yeah, goes, my mom does that all the time. I don't know as how, a teacher. I don't know how the power of the Lord comes over me these days, but it's much easier to censor my mouth around seven to eight year olds than it is the older ones. Have a kick ass Tuesday. Oh, we will now. So funny. Thank you. So funny. All right, I'm going to enjoy that discussion tomorrow. <laughs> so we're talking about swearing teachers and wiener holes. Wake up. <laughs> we're talking about wiener holes and swearing teachers. Cut the crap. <laughs> Just cut, cut the crap and wake up. Cut the crap. It's time for know the show. <laughs> All right. What, what are you giving away? Oh, I got the uh, 30 Seconds of Mars tickets. <laughs> All right. Uh, what's your question? My question is... What do couples do that makes them live longer? <laughs> the couples that do what helps them live longer? They have to do it together. I Them's like, the rules. I like that discussion today. That was a good one. That was funny. All right. Uh, 713-212-5945 if you know the show. It's 94.5 The Buzz.
All right, here we go. 94.5, the buzz. One more time, Blink-182. Rod Ryan Show, Tattoos Day. Number one link today. Number one. All right, we got some scattered thunderstorms throughout the day. Tonight, rain. Late tonight, overnight rain. Tomorrow morning, we'll be talking about rain while we're on. Uh, I just heard... The only person that matters with the golf tournament is Roger, who puts this thing on, who does all the work, and he's the, you know, the head of Texas Adaptive Aquatics. Everyone else that was on this chain of emails, they all said, oh, we're we're good to go, we're good to go. I'm like, excuse me, are you doing any of the setting up or anything? I finally heard from Roger, we are good. We are good to go for tomorrow. So thank you, Roger. That's who I was waiting for. Wizard, Logan, they're like, yeah, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Yeah. From the guys sitting in here while it's raining in the morning. They're telling me that we're, go- we're a go tomorrow. <laughs> All right, we got um, to do this. Here we go. Good morning, Rod Ryan Show. Hello, can you hear me? I can hear you. Great. What's your name? Oh, Gage. Hi, Gage. Welcome to the show. Uh, this is Know the Show. Last thing we're going to do before we get on out of here today. Uh, Tessa, this is Gage. Hey, Gage. Uh, can you tell me what couples do that makes them live longer together? Yes, ma'am. Couples that drink together and stay together. Uh, yeah, I mean... <laughs> I mean, this, this study suggests that. It says they actually live longer. Yeah. It's, it's better when... It's better than when neither one of you drink or only one of you drinks. When you both drink together, you're going to live longer, apparently. I, listen, it's not mine. It's just that's I'm just passing along the science. What are you giving Gage? <laughs> Gage, you get the 30 Seconds of Mars and AFI tickets because you know the show. Way to go, bro. Awesome. Way to go. I appreciate it. Thank you, guys. How many concert T-shirts or band uh, musician T-shirts do you think you own currently? Ooh, I think I only have one, an ACDC one. Nice. Okay. Strong. I, I know. I think it's weird. <laughs> it's just not enough. I think enough. it's weird that you only have one. Well, you know? I, I don't know. <laughs> Buy a 30 Seconds to Mars shirt at the show, all right? Yes, sir. We'll do it. <laughs> <laughs> all right, Gage. Thank you for listening. Have an awesome day. Uh, we got to go. We got to go. Sexy James won this morning, right? Yes, he, he did. Uh, he beat Brian. Ooh, we thought Brian was going to maybe do some damage. He was a fresh fish this morning, but Sexy James got it done in three questions. He's going to go for win number three tomorrow because he says he's going to be on all week with us. Uh, hit the post. There was Scuba Steve. There was uh, Dustin Danger. Mike. Microphone. 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 And then uh, Josh Gold, which yeah. we didn't even change his name. Yeah. Um, I, I thought they were all great. I thought they were all really, really good today. That is podcast right now if you want to go listen to it. Really? I'll tell you what. Is it just me laughing like an idiot? I no, laughed. I loved it. I loved it. <laughs> Alex being strict as hell and Rod just so happy the whole time. Alex really rolls up the sleeves is so. <laughs> don't tell me to be, be a judge if you don't want me to take it seriously. But there's other times that I call upon you to judge things. I'm a and great judge. There's something Always. about read or there's something about hit the post that you turn into a monster. The sanctity. You're of the game. serious. All right. Uh, shout out to Sausage Companies, okay? Uh, <laughs> eclipse pictures and stories. Thank you. Lots of stuff still. Lots of uh, Eclipse leftovers for you on links and guests today. Uh, let's see. Wildcard Wednesday tomorrow. A-, a game? We could play a game tomorrow. Sure. Um, it's the golf tournament. Maybe, I mean, I, this is just my suggestion. I just, my name's on the show. That's it. Maybe closest to the pin would Ooh. be a fun game to play. Yeah, uh, we like that. On the golf tournament day. I could work something up for you guys. Uh, let's see. Pass the gravy. When are you doing one? Uh, we uh, we recorded it yesterday. I'm going to post it sometime this afternoon. Tessa's on Houston Life at 1 o'clock. Don't miss it. We were on the stream yesterday, but we're back on regular scheduled programming television. Uh, Jeremy has pick your tickets with him. The 1 o'clock hour. He said closer to 120. He just told me. Dashboard, uh, Glass Animals, and Cake. Uh, Teresa's got Struts tickets at 420. And again, at 1030, Carol Lee's going to kill a man just to watch him die. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> it's wild that she gets away with that. It's like the third time I think she's told me that that's what's going to happen on her show. Wild. 
How Johnny Cash of you. <laughs> I, have a, I have his shirt, too. <laughs> All right, that's it. We got to go. We're on a 20-hour break. AMF!